Maybe a little music will set the mood. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait a second. Is this good? Oh, you're here for bingies in a good time. Well, have I got one of those for you. Let me do, let me just secretly do something off stream. No one's allowed to know about this. Let me move this microphone. It's in the weirdest position. There we are. You ready? Here, here comes the part where I scare you. Oh. Fuck. Every time with this stupid, it turns my contrast to zero. There we go. No more con. Sorry about that. I mean, I actually scare you. That was a, that was a genuine mistake. Sorry. Sorry about that. It didn't mean to actually be scary. It was supposed to be just like a nice little thing. I was supposed to be there. Sorry, everybody. Sorry if I haunt you that nice. Whoopsie, whoopsies. Anyways, how y'all doing? How's your freaking Saturdays? Y'all having a good one? Mm-mm-mm. It's actually pretty scary. I'm sorry. What happened? 
I popped on screen and my contrast was zero for, for no reason. I don't know. It does that sometimes. In fact, it does that every time. And usually I set it up so that it doesn't, but sometimes it resets between scenes, I guess. I'm doing shit. Nice. Who doesn't love shit? Miss Demon, hello. Welcome. Howdy. Oh, and Teacup, welcome as well. Hasn't been great with this weird Canadian internet cell outage. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. What the fuck happened? Was Did Ro I think it was like Rogers exploded. Wasn't that what it was? Rogers is just like gone now? It's something insane like that. Ironheart Gaming. Ironheart Gaming, thank you so much for the 41 months. I don't have a kazoo uh, from me to you, but I do have like this tiny horrible noise. And that's about it. I'm sorry. I it, It's as good as a kazoo, I think. <laughs> thank you so fucking much for the 41 months. Seven months till four fucking years. That's disgusting. Thank you so much. I By then, I'll have the gold kazoo. It'll be worth it. Also, see you. I'm so fucking sorry to hear that. That is rough shit. My god. It reminds me. I, I've lost dogs in my life, and it's it's fucking... It's brutal. Take take your time with it. Treat yourself nice. Rogers on the live for a bit. Are they still gone? What happened to Rogers? I saw I saw some, some executive come on a live stream and go like... Yeah, we don't know when it's going to be fixed. And an interviewer asked him like five times, is there like an ETA, like a day, a month, a year? And he's like, we don't know. <laughs> we don't even know what happened. Horrifying. I, yeah, absolutely haunting. Glad I'm not there. Glad I don't have to deal with it. Not entirely sure. Yeah, also, because he's in England. I haven't even searched for one. Haven't even searched for one. Oh shit, Papa J! Haven't watched you in like six years. No fucking way. What was your original account name? Can't believe I found you again. How'd you find me again? I like to keep to my little corner of the internet. That's intense. American here, Avi. What happened to Rogers? So, oh sorry, what's Rogers? You know how in America you guys have like Comcast and just Comcast? Well, up in Canada, most of Canada, you have Rogers and you have Shaw and maybe Telus. Rogers just shut off all internet, all cell phone service, gone. And people realized that they couldn't even phone 911 on their cell phones, which is illegal. You have to, if I take a Nokia phone from the 90s, put a battery in it, and it can connect to a cell tower, I should be able to call 911 without having any data plan, nothing. So it was like really fucking bad. More like scam cast. Yeek. I looked up Tom Fallout streamer. I love that that gets you it. Are you kidding me? No fucking way, Papa J. I, I'm Google, I'm googling that right now. Except all, yeah. There's Tinker Tom Serum. There, yep, yep, yep. There it is. <laughs> it's on Twitter. That's hilarious. Holy shit. <laughs> I guess I gotta keep streaming Fallout. Keep keep the SEO alive. I'm glad you're back. Fucking welcome. Lawsuits against Rogers. Most definitely. Probably. Mm. You're going to the Stranger Things experience in London next month. I heard I heard about that. I can't believe they're doing something that cool. And in London of all places. Wasn't one of the some of the actors here for like a Comic-Con or something? A friend of mine said credit cards couldn't be used that is connected to Rogers. They're not even a bank. What? <laughs> I think if if any aspect of your life touched Rogers during that time, it just fell apart and it's gone now. Weird. First result is a uh, Tom tweeting Ratatouille streamer now. Yeah, <laughs> that's the first result I got too. I'm never gonna delete that tweet. Turns out that tweet's very important, very important <laughs> to me. <laughs> Watched you around the beginning of '76. Oh my fuck! I am still, I'm still pissed at '76 for taking away Nuclear Winter. Oh, what the hell? Do you still stream Fallout? I do. I'm currently doing a uh, Fallout New Vegas run, just for goofsies. And apparently, I also listened to the Skyrim song. <laughs> the Skyrim song. Fuck. RBC was entirely down. Car readers across the country were hit or miss. Wow. Fucking A. I hope, I mean, I assume it's back now. Yeah, Roger's just shutting down an entire country. Yeah, it's just the internet. <laughs> it's just the way that everyone communicates in this common era. Jesus Christ. No, that's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Experience is also in America, New York, San Francisco. Oh shit! Oh, that's close enough. I can go check it out. Username was Jubaloo. Oh fuck! 
I, I vaguely remember it being yellow as well. But I could be terribly wrong. <laughs> a loss of emergency alone is so bad. Yeah, oh, genuinely. Oh, genuinely. It's a really fucked up issue. Like, the internet going down. Oh, that sucks. The, the, I don't know, television and s phones, cell carriers going down. Oh, that's pretty bad. Not being able to phone 911. That's illegal and hugely hazardous. Like, grossly hazardous. Grossly. Watch my son stream for joining from Bingus. I'm, I don't worry, I won't tell him. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. We do have a bit of a treat. Um, because this is the sh this is the life hack bingo and chef's club after Fourth of July. So I expect to see some crazy fireworks hacks, but probably not, because they're probably illegal in France. And some crazy food. I see two things that look gross. It doesn't look like there's too many, uh, too many Chef's Club uploads, but we'll peruse. Camaro girl, welcome. Howdy hoopty. Mm. Oh, and bacon, welcome. Yeah, barbecue recipes. I see one recipe right now, the 4th of July cake, but sadly it's a YouTube short, so. This an early stream is a treat, Tom. Ooh, I like, I like that reception. The more positive reception early streams, the more I'm like, I should do these more often. I should, it should just happen. Not independent of when I'm traveling. Do you still do kazoo for subs? I do, but I don't right now. Cause I'm in, I'm in the UK, I'm traveling and I didn't bring my kazoos in my traveling uh, bag of gadgets. I just, I just make noises with my mouth during this trip. And then once I'm back in Toronto, straight kazoos, straight kazoos again. They'll just do a grab some assets of for fireworks. <laughs> Just visual effects every single frame. Mm. Mm. I vaguely remember you having a blown up picture of your face in the background, but it was hidden. That was, I did that literally for like two streams. <laughs> that was, that was a two stream gag, unless I accidentally left it on for like a couple more of the streams. So excited for life hack bingo. So excited you're here. Fuck yeah, Aurora. Oh, Coda Cakes. Hello and howdy. Welcome, welcome. Trim Trim. I don't, like, if we were gonna start with anything, we could start with Trim Trim, but that seems, uh, disgusting. Disgusting. Tom, you look like you're jumping out of my TV. It's the high definition. You can see the sweat. You can see the slime. You can see the tiredness under my eyes. It's all there, and it's coming out of your TV. I'm like the ring girl. <laughs> Gross as shit. Uh, I'm looking at Trim Trim. Don't mind the noise. That was me starting a Trim Trim. Yes. It seems so cool to do it to chat. It really does. Um, they look putrid. Um, do you guys want to see them? We're probably not going to look at them. Then five minute crafts to be less gross. That's a good point. I, I feel like it would be fucking brutal. Wrong frame. Sorry, just a second. Boom. Um, they do. If my mom owns a tattoo studio. You know what? If my mom owned a tattoo studio and I was a little baby, I don't know if I'd want um, tattoos as a little baby. <laughs> Seems bad. Let me see the cover things too. They add a lot to the value of my stream. Uh, unlucky versus lucky. Rich dog, poor dog. If nanny is mommy long legs, if poppy ply at time was real life. <laughs> that has a million views. This is, sorry, let me scroll down. That has a million views. Steve Harrington. How did you find me here? I have no social media presence outside of the show. Uh, secret room under the staircase. We build a bunk bed, good and bad secret room. Rich versus broke beach queen, broke girl on fancy island. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm doing great. Thank you, Alter Ace. This is, um, yeah, I don't think there's any of these that I'd want to do. Genuinely, you're drinking early. Well, I mean, it is almost midnight, but yes. Sorry, for those who are not familiar with the process of Bingy. I still think we should start with Chef's Club Bingo. Boom! I have a bingy card. I have a bingy card with many squares. All of them containing more or less the same shit we see in every fucking yeah. Chef's Club video. Or life hack video. Villavus! Villavus, thank you so much for gifting us up the Coda Cakes. Coda Cakes! Welcome back to the Kazoo Crew. I don't have a kazoo for me to you, but chat does in lieu. And I... That's an incomplete sentence. And I've got a noise instead. Check this one out. Oh, that came through the mic. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Philippus. That's really nice of you. Um, I... I'm not excited... Oh, actually, before I jump to that, I will be drinking from this adult trick-or-treat bag of Fireball. Yeah, only, only the coolest kids are drinking from the adult trick-or-treat bag of Fireball. We're gonna be doing them. One bottle at a time, baby. Ugh. There were so many of these. There's like a hundred. I didn't even know you could do adult trick or treat. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Maybe if like an adult comes to your door, you're like, hey, here's a little something for you. And you give him fireball. It just seems mean. The bag of fireball. <laughs> it's the only way. You got bags of milk, you got bags of fireball. <laughs> I'm a Canadian. I like what I like. There is, and check this out. Ooh, me, Chris Kid, welcome. Hello from Las Vegas. Dude, I wish I was visiting. Also, I reckon, I recognize that emote. I've seen Pot Friend before. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Mm. So check this out. Fourth of July party cake. Also, guess who's back three summertime recipes to crunch. I feel like that's an immediate success. I feel like that's an immediate success. Oh, you miss Bacon's cat? Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let's 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 take a gander at uh, Bacon's. Oh, good fuck. <laughs> at Bacon's cat. <laughs> Do you want to see Bacon's cat? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I gotta I gotta link it properly. There it is. Oh, we value privacy. Thank you. Disagree. <laughs> I disagree that you value my privacy. Leon's Ostias Denuto. <laughs> I don't... Oh... At least Leon's not in the chat. Doesn't have to experience this one. Summon the demon. There's also Dali Gato. Oh, there's Dali for cats. Oh, shut... I like this cat. Can we... Here, look at this cat. <laughs> I like this one a lot. I, I can't... I, I can't tell a lie about cats like this. I love this cat. This is a good cat. <laughs> This is a pretty sweet little guy. Look at him. He's worrisome. No! He's, he's, he's a cat reduced to his perfect, just, elements. <laughs> Nothing pairs with crab cat. Dude, bone cat's my favorite cat. This one's nice, though. Leon's Ostsundunusto. It's a horrifying incantation, but... It's, it's important to say, once a day, right before you go to bed, greed cat. Horrifying. Praise be- yes, Heenus- Heenus is a classic, though. We can't- we can't forget about it. Heenus. I wanna start- Oh, there's a double bacon cheeseburger. Oh, they're gonna fucking ruin that. I wanna start with this. I wanna start with Guess Who's Back. I wanna start with Guess Who's Back. I'm gonna mute this freaking video. We're gonna make it cinema mode. And guess Who's Back- It's three summertime recipes to crunch. I hope you're ready for your snack to bite back. I'm gonna jump in the chat. I'm gonna start a prediction. Oh, oh, Chris Kid, thank you for following the channel. Start prediction. How many bingies? One through a bunch. Start it off. There it is. Can't wait for it to be moist. There's gonna be. There, I honestly would not be amazed, <laughs> not at all amazed, if every single recipe had some level of dampness to it and zero crunch. They're gonna have like taco shells and then like cover them in cream or something. I have no idea. New predictions up. Thank you so much, Bacon. Guys, if you haven't yet, pop some beans in the prediction. Vote. Guess how many how many bingies you're gonna get. Um, I can't even show you guys the, the list, sadly, but I'll just perceive of it. Almost 6,000 beans sitting on five. That's a healthy bet. There's a couple sitting on ten and nine. Never mind, there's 35,000 on nine. We're going big. That's a lot of bingies. That's a Tom gets destroyed amount of bingies. What time is it? Cash's toilet. It's only 6 p.m. It's maybe early bingies o'clock time. Maybe. May chance. I don't want to spoil it or anything. Uh, we've got zero on one or zero. No one thinks that there won't be any bingies. There might not be any bingies. This might be desserts only. There's six. There's a funny sex number. 69,000 on three. That's important. 10k on 4, we got 1.4 on 2, 20 beans on 1, whoever did that 20. Oh, actually it's two people with 10. Smart votes, smart votes. You can pick up, you can rack up some big dosh just sitting on, sitting with small bean amounts on the numbers nobody votes for. 8 is also one that very few people are voting for, only two people and 500 beans on it. 
Oh god! 120,000 on five. What happened? Somebody's somebody's breaking the bank. Or are just rich with beans. Flush with bean dosh. My goodness. Uh, there's only a couple seconds left on the prediction. If you haven't, uh, check, check it out. Type slash prediction in chat if you don't even see it on your frame, then maybe it'll pop up for you. I, I don't really know how it works. I think it works like that. There it is! It's ready. It's good. You guys ready and good? I know I am. Well, relatively ready and relatively good. Emlo, howdy, hey. Let's do it. Spiced beef and tomatoes. Six filo dough. D six of them? That looks like one of them. Oh, you know what? I'll eat my words. That's six. That's a <laughs> you gotta use a chef's club plate to twist them all out. Smart. <laughs> Air jock. Air jock, thank you for the 23 months of support. While I don't have a kazoo for me to you, I hope the chat does. And I've got, oh God, what is it, what? Well, either or, I've got a funny noise for you instead of a kazoo, and it goes like this. I have to rewind. I don't think he said what he's dipping them in. I don't think he said it all. There's the kazoos. Thank you so much, guys. What? I, it, is it bean paste? He doesn't say it all. He's just making a mess. That's unidentified. It's just brown dip. <laughs> as long as it's brown, you can put it on the phyllo dough. Okay. Nothing like glassware in an oven. <laughs> Two of those look like cups. <laughs> well, three of them. You just have a ground beef? What? Hello? What is that? There's seasoning in it. It's not just ground beef. There's stuff in the ground beef. Is this supposed to be in cubes? Are you, are you just gonna mash it all up? It's just breaking apart. Okay. That's kind of fucking weird. <laughs> I don't even think it's a lazy meatball. What are you doing? Why you even bother keeping them on the vine if you're gonna smush and gush them? Gross. <laughs> that looks inedible. There's the vine. Rip that sucker out of there. I. The fuck? Also, just some canned tomatoes. Fuck it. <laughs> don't know why. Those are, th are those meatballs? Are those actually supposed to be meatballs? Shut the fuck up. Those are just chunks of beef. I, okay. I guess there's some meatballs are, but still. It's gonna still have the stem, probably. Yeah. Well, this is recipe summer recipes to crunch with. Big crunch coming in when you pick the stem out of your teeth. Why is this on a bed of lettuce? Paper. Apple cider vinegar. I was gonna ask, what the fuck's wrong with your eggs? But okay. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Why? Does the apple cider vinegar add something? Uh, it's just... It's just raw egg yolk covered in vinegar. For flavor? <laughs> I want my mouth to just pucker up. That's it. How do you eat this? <laughs> For when you want your eggs to taste like vinegar. You want yolk to just burn your tongue. Um, that's the end of the recipe. That's it. I... I don't know. This looks foul. This doesn't look like food. I'd rather just eat meatballs. Um... Okay. <laughs> what are we even gonna mark? This is a disaster. No, it's food! Look at it! Yummy! Raw egg. You're, I think you're allowed to wear, uh, sorry, wear, eat yolk that's raw, right? Gaston does it in Beauty and the Beast. No, are we jumping to no already? I see, I see three no's in the chat. I'm seeing four, but they're the same people. I'm okay with marking no. Unidentified ingredients was definitely a part of it. There was cherry tomato. There was cherry tomato on the vine. That's, that's, it's gotta be marked. Uh, lots of screams for no. Lots of screams for no. I put raw eggs in my protein shakes. Did you put with the, the white? I thought you're not supposed to eat the white. What the fuck is this? Um, what else can we do? Dangerous for glassware in the oven. Yeah, it didn't look right. I know that you can get glassware that's tempered for high heats, but like, 
Some of those just look like cups. How do eat? Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, without a doubt. What the fuck is how? There it is. Got it. Easy peasy. Comical plating. Yeah, I, I, I draw you back to a nest of lettuce. Like, like you're gonna uh, scour it out and find it? No, no, no. That's, that's, that's comical plating. Comically plating. Also dangerous for raw egg. Yeah, man. I'm too scared of it. Oh, the danger is the shell on the outside. Oh. I think this is one of those things where it's different if you're in the United States or in, like, the UK. Because some, yeah, you gotta keep your eggs in the fridge, sometimes you don't. It's a whole thing. Undercooked for the egg. I'm gonna let the egg slide. Because I like raw yolk. I'm a raw yolk lover, okay? If I'm making egg benedict, there's raw yolk in it. Because I, I sous vide. Well, I don't sous vide. What is it? Whatever, I boil my eggs. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Forget. Frozen pizza is better. Is it frozen pizza better than this? Yeah, sunny side up eggs, yeah. Um, I think so. I feel like if I ate this, I'd eat the meat, and then maybe the yolk, and then uh, some of the crunch of the crust, but that's about it. Poached! Thank you. I couldn't, I couldn't think of a fucking name. Uh, frozen pizza is better. Let's keep going. Wash my eggs, throw them in a shake. Eggshell has strong membrane that's healthy as fuck. Wait, that surprises me, but also not that much. I remember learning that you can just eat salmon bones if they're canned. What are you doing to these eggplants? What are you doing to these aubergines? I, I, your guy, their guidelines? That's kind of cute. I'm not mad about that one. Wait, I'm sorry. You just cut them open and then you leave them for 30 minutes? And then they get all wilty and weird? Don't deep fr Why are you... Ugh. Octo plants, yeah. Oh, this is a terrible way, okay. Purple manis. Oh god. It's not deep enough. You're gonna have okay. Well it's gonna get messy, but sure. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna you're keeping the stem too. Okay. There you go. Is this recipe just deep fried eggplant? It doesn't sound good. Probably not that bad TBH. It probably isn't. It's very surprisingly basic for what they're doing. Don't use the fucking underside of a can as a cook. Rats shit on those. It's from a warehouse where rats shit on those. Holy shit, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. I hate that. All right, olive oil. Mark, unidentified ingredients for the last one. We did big crunch, we did. So many cherry tomatoes. So many. Okay. Oh. Vodka, it's party time. Oh, you gotta light the alcohol on fire. That's cool. You have to do that. It won't taste yummy in your tummy if you don't light it aflame. Also, I think that's nonstick cookware. Can you light an open flame in nonstick cookware? Is that like not okay? <laughs> There they go. Where's your fireball? Oh, Troy. It's right here. I have this very regular sized bottle of alcohol. It's not tiny at all. Oh, a little cream. Squishy garlic. The classic. Pimple popper garlic. What a terrible way to, yeah, whatever. I had to do that once and it worked, but man, you had to pick out a lot of crap. Maybe I'm not good at it. There you go, a little creme sauce. Yummy, a nice creamy vodka sauce for my tomatoes. Oh wait, no, what is she putting this on? Is this a soup? Oh. <laughs> I hate this. How many people hate this? I love the- oh god, oh that just looks gross, um... Grenade. I'd try it. <sighs> We're gonna have a fight in the chat. I'd try it too. I'd try it too. I would requ- if I got this at a restaurant, I would want the top of the eggplant cut off, I'd want a bunch of deep fried eggplant wedges in a bowl, 
and then I'd want a bowl on the side for the dipping sauce. I wouldn't want all of it together. I'll try a single bite. It looks good. I think it's fine. I hate it for the can smashing. That's a good point. That is a really good point, Baxter. What do we mark? I mean, other than disgustingly unsanitary. Where was that? Do we not have unsanitary anymore? We have to have unsanitary. Do we not? Am I fucking blind? I think it's gone. Shit. I guess dangerous would be similar, but... Do fetish. What, just because it's an eggplant? We gagged. There was some gagging. I was mad. Did chat gag. Did chat gag when we used the underside of a can to mash tomatoes through a mesh shirt. Ah! <laughs> a mesh fuck. Vile! Holy fucking shit. Vile! You s thank you so fucking much for gifting 10 subs to everybody in chat. Colgate, Vilkin, Kaba, Odysseus Xenu, Valnorn, no, Valorn, fuck, Fnording, Omichi, Numbers, Ezralia, and Cory. Y'all got caught up in a fuck. And now you're subbed to the channel. I hope you enjoy all the horrifying emotes. Uh, while I don't have a big didgeridoo from me to you, I do have this tiny horrible noise. <laughs> That's like a didgeridoo, right? Sounded the same, right? Can rat poop smashing be an unusual ingredient? That's a good question. I mean, it is unusual to add rat feces to your to your meal, but I don't think it's an intended ingredient. <laughs> so it feels it feels like it'd be in poor taste to market. That's <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so much for lying, Kona. <laughs> uh, what what can we do? What can we do? Uh, Ratatouille had rat droppings. Like the entire movie or just the, the dish? <laughs> Ratatouille by rats. It adds spice. That's true. I did ask if chat gagged and then I got fucked. We gagged. A lot of people said they gagged. I'm going to mark chat gag for that. For the rat poops. Please tell me you go back and listen to the awful sounds you make and replace them with a kazoo. I sometimes do. I've caught like three of them and they're bad. <laughs> they're bad. Bad editing for cutting half the eggplant then jumping to the full thing being cut. Nah, I'm okay with that. Do fetish. How many people want me to mark fetish? How many people want me to do that? I will I will do that. Nah. I think the only thing that's fetishy is that it's an eggplant, which is kind of peeny looking. But that's just how God made him. Look at him. <laughs> I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Even when they splay him out and they put him in like little octopuses. It's fine. Woody. Oh yeah, that was the last thing I wanted to mark off. How many people would kill me in this instant right now if I marked off Woody? Because I want to mark Woody. I have problems with the dish. I think it's made really poorly. The can is terrible and everything else. But like the core components. I think it's a Woody. I wouldn't want to eat. I don't even like eggplant. I made I made a dinner tonight. Sh uh, uh, fucking shout out to HelloFresh. I made a HelloFresh dinner tonight. Type exclamation mark HelloFresh to get a code to use for HelloFresh or scroll down. I got a freaking promo link. Anyways, made a little eggplant lentil thing, and I've never had lent- I don't- I don't eat lentils, and I don't eat eggplant. It turned out fucking delicious. I still don't know what eggplant tastes like, though, because there's too much sauce and delicious other stuff on it. <laughs> I'm marking Woody. There's enough people saying Woody in chat, and a few people saying that they would slaughter me limb from limb, but... I'm sticking to my guns. Let's go see what the next one is. Uh, we're- we're pretty low on the bingos here. They're really gonna have to pull something out of their ass. Oh, you know what? Actually, before we continue, don't finger the. F okay. Um, the first recipe. This guy. I think this is prep time too long. You, there's a lot of there's a lot of jumping back and forth, and then by the end of it, all you get is like meatballs. So, anyways, fetish. I'm not marking it right yet. Keep it in your mind. Keep it in your mind. Fingy hole. <laughs> Stop. Okay, there you go. Just take like, like a cup. You've done it before, take a cup and make a cutting. Whatever. Mm. Cut the rat poop in the stems and then I'd try it. That's a good point actually. That's a good point. Not knowing the process that these meals are made in. I'd, I'd try a couple of them. Why, again with the, with the, with the dough goatsy. <laughs> Big fingy. Yeah, he's really messing up the cheese. I don't know why you're doing it in the pan. Mm. 
There it is, rolling it. <laughs> this feels lewd. It really does. I don't like it. He's gonna do it again to a tiny one. Okay, never mind. There we go. Cheesy rings. I guess that middle one's cheesy too. I don't know. Donuts. <laughs> Eggs. How many? Shut the fuck up. That's how many. That's an interesting way to scramble eggs. Are you gonna conjoin all the pizzas? Oh. And the center. Oh, I guess you gotta get the outside too now. There's no seasoning in it? Nothing? You're gonna- okay. Uh-huh. Is this a bad pizza? What is this? Those are so poorly covered. There you go. Use your hands. There we go. Chef's Club's Pizza Spice Mix. You gotta use the Chef's Club Pizza Spice Mix. It's not the same without. Is that a... Oh, I thought that was a, a flute of fries. Turns out it's macaroni, which is much better. What is that? Are those are those three pepper types and then a stick of cheese? I don't know what's happening. My chef's club not sponsored you yet. I have no idea. They should though. Reach out. <laughs> I'm not. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use a lid like that, but whatever. It's a pizza! It's a shit pizza! Cut it another time! Cut it into eights! Oh my god. D didn't even eat it. He didn't even take a bite. He just cuts it there. He's like, I don't know, fuck it. That is disgusting. It looks cool, but it's gross. Oh, sorry, I went to way, way too far. I wanted to see what that was. Is it just peppers? Like, what? what is this? I think I got caught up in the chef's club spices. Frozen pizza is definitely better, but we already got that, that sucker marked. It's just bell peppers. I don't know what that extra thing is. I don't think I've ever seen a bell pepper that's white. Maybe it's tofu. I don't know. Tofu makes more sense. Cheese would melt. It's gotta be. Props cheese. No, it would have melted, right? Look at that. Look at that thing! That's tofu, that's gotta be a tofu thing. Unidentified ingredient, yeah. Here, let's cut back to the end. So this is just called the fresh pepper pizza. Potato, no, it would've turned more yellowy, it just kinda burns. Um, chef's club ingredient. Uh, unusual ingredients, cause I don't know what the fuck it is. It, it might be halloumi, it might be tofu. I didn't gag, there wasn't any bad acting. Chat might have been mad. I don't know. Oh yeah, fetish because of the whole thing. Is this no bingos? Chat mad. <laughs> Chat's raving right now. Uh, dairy nightmare. To, I don't know. It's not. It's not. It's just nothing. I might be the only one angry. I'm from Chicago. It's not a pizza. Vile. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry. Chat's mad about no bingies. I'd be too. Look at that. What a weird card. I feel like we should have had at least two. Two food, that editing. No. I don't think there's anything left to mark. Yeah, those two people on Zero Bingers are about to make it big. Do you guys want to see what they made? You want to see what they made? Here we go. Slash. Prediction. Is a carb nightmare for sure? Not really. It's probably got as much dough as a regular pizza, right? Oh, God. How do I do prediction? Prediction. Gim dem beans. Choose outcome. One or zero. Boom. Complete. How many beans? How many beans to the, like, two people who put ten on? It's loading, and I hate how slow- FUCKING THE uh, HALF OF A MILLION! <laughs> Nobody ever wanted to hear that. HALF A MILLION to Dumpmaster and Ann. Congrats. con fucking grats It's kinda tube food? It kinda was! I- Thankfully, though, if I'd marked it, it wouldn't have been a bingo. Uh, hey! You guys ready to do another one? Um, what I want to do, 
And I think they've only they've only released They've only released one other video. They've only released one other video. The other two are shorts, and this is some like five minute thing for your streaming pleasure. Do you think this is a video for me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm worried about it. It'd be fun to hear. What if he just insults me? He's like, hey, Tom, you're a bitch. <laughs> they know. I'd lose my shit. Watch it. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. We'll check it out. Um, I think what we're going to do is the watermelon party, which I hate watermelon. Oh, God. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, so this already sounds bad. Let's do a prediction. I'm gonna- I, Oh, it's already up! It's already up! Thank you so much, Bacon. How many bingies, guys? This is the first frame of the video. He's jamming- Is that a tequila bottle? It's something. It's a booze bottle into a watermelon. This is Watermelon Party 3 Fresh and Fruity Recipes. Uh, let me refresh the bingo card so you can see which squares are where. Here she is. I'm marking that free space. Oh, and I never did my inaugural shot for the first free space of the board. What's wrong with me? This whole stream's cursed now. I think that's how it works. Maybe I can undo the curse. <laughs> I have a shot of fireball. Cheers, everybody. Ooh. Oh, that's not that bad. <laughs> I think it's better if you have it straight from the bottle. Maybe when you let it aerate, it gets worse. Not entirely sure. Anyways, Loopy Roo. Howdy, hey, how you doing? Happy Bingus Day. Vodka injected bottle, exactly. Oh! Hoons! Oh my god. Hoons, welcome. Touch scaly tail, lizard man, gay unicorn of love. Welcome. Fucking welcome. Jet punch, welcome as well. I need oh, Aluna, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm doing a I'm doing a shout-out. I'm doing a shout-out for Hoons. A fucking monumental huge love to Hoons. Please. If you haven't yet, please go check out Hoon's channel. Please. For me. Fireball this early? Well, it's like midnight for me. <laughs> Almost. And that's the best time to be drinking, I think. Kerbo! Welcome! Thank you for following the channel! Look at those. You got a frog emoji? You got the oldest frog? How'd you get that sort of a gun? Well, welcome, everybody. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of life hack bingo. I hope you're ready. It's probably not as cool as all the art Hoon's was making. If Hoon's was making art, I actually don't know. I just assume. I jumped the gun and assumed. Oh, Fabu! Welcome, Fabu. How you do? And I'm at my computer. Dude, that's a good day. That's a good goddamn day. Um, I was making art. Yes, fuck yeah. I, did, I... <sighs> Anytime you're making art, it's a good day. Come on. <laughs> you're too good at it. Oh, touch the tail. Welcome. Howdy freaking hoopty. Had to toss everyone here because bingo night. That's just too kind of you. I Here, I'm going to give you guys the rundown for everyone coming in. We watch a video, and then we do a bingo card based on the video. And if we get any bingos, I take a shot. And you can play along at home. If you've got uh, if you've got the bingo card, all you gotta do is type exclamation mark chef's club or chef club. And then you get your own bingo card and you can play. It's a good little time. Um I worried about this video, but mm, I rated it as well, but it didn't go through. Oh fuck well, I'm sorry. Thank you for the raid, Doozy. Thank you. Here, I'm gonna do a shout out to Doozy. Thank you so much, Doozy. Doozy's been fucking great in the community for eons. If Please go check out Doozy's channel. I hope that actually worked. That didn't. Don't click that link. I had an, I had a colon at the end. I had a loose colon. There we go. Colon's removed. Okay. It's time, I think, to start the video. I'm sorry I didn't I I, I didn't shout out the prediction to see what it was. Uh, it looks like we've got we've got a lot of people voting for one or zero now. 48,000 on 2, 29,000 on 3, sporadic throughout, 50,000 on 7, and 34,000 on 8. Okay, those are the numbers to look out for. 8, 7, 2, and 3. Everything else is like, you know, bad odds, but we'll find out. Uh, okay, we're set. Yeah, vodka melon, here we go. I don't, I don't know what the fuck Chinoto is, but ugh, I don't know. Oh, ew. Watermelon party just sounds like a more tame lemon party. <laughs> Bigger and redder than whatever lemon party was. Sounds lame. This is gross. More gross than what I said, I think. No, maybe less gross than what I said. Did you spurt a leak? What is So, take half of a watermelon and put it in a blender. And then take vodka and, and put it in a the other half? 
and then pour it back in. So this is just watermelon and vodka, right? Yeah, this is a mixed drink. This is nothing. I mean, it's gross the way they've made it, but yeah, seed smoothie. <laughs> Orange liqueur, okay. The, most of the vodka is still in the bottle. Also, is this supposed to be a full bottle of vodka? Lime, hell yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Huh. Splashing it out. All right. Kind of nice. Why? <laughs> I hate this. I I actually hate this. I really don't like this. That reminds me, mm. there is a reference to Lemon Party in a news headline in Deblob 2. <laughs> Good God, Deblob. Good God. I'm somebody that doesn't even like having, like, water with, with fruits in it. Where it's like, water, but there's a little bit of melon in there. Or water, and there's some raspberries floating in it. Like, I hate it. I just, it just sickens me for some reason. And it's just because I don't like fruit, I guess. Oh, uh, what are you... This is an interesting way to cut a watermelon. Is it because you want the rind for something else? They're gonna turn the rind into a jello thing, I bet. Also, is this the same recipe? Yep. What? She looks so not happy to be here. Holy shit. Uh huh. Yeah. No, this is. They're make. Yeah. They're making a jello thing. Looks like frozen meat. It really does. <laughs> looks gross, dude. There it is. Dude, this is gonna be the most amazing jelly, watermelon pop, jello thing ever. A freezing oven? <laughs> Was it really an oven? Wait, I do have to go back before I comment on the fact that they used egg. Yep, the old freezing oven. <laughs> is that actually just like a weird industrial freezer? Fucking whatever. Anyway, it's time to put egg in the watermelon. <laughs> Fucking gross. Dehydration chamber. Is it really? Is it really? Wait, we gotta go back again then. Because they say to freeze it. It's a flash freezer? Well, it better be, because if it's a dehydration chamber, then they're lying to us. Those look like they could be dehydrated. I don't know. Nah, whatever. We'll say it's a flash freezer. We'll, we'll, we'll go along with it. Back to the egg. No yolk dough. No yolk. Powdered sugar. Eesh. Okay. There it is. Make a slurry. Gross. I don't know what the egg is for. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Okay. Nice. They're gonna refreeze it and then it's popsicles. Egg is to bind it. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Just put other shit in it. <laughs> There, it looks just like watermelon. If I was a kid that liked watermelon, I might actually love this, but I, as an adult that hates any fruit, hate this. There it goes. Is she gonna pull out one that's finished? No, nah, she's not. Are you allowed to freeze stuff on a, oh, there it is, oh. Crushed ice, okay. That's it. Uh, thanks, I hate this. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, it's the pink goo from Fallout 4. The kind that makes you into a pink ghoul. <laughs> That's nice. It's, uh, I, mm, This is way too much work for so little results. I hate it. Um, I will say, before just saying stinky, um, I'm still confused about the bottle. What's the bottle? <laughs> Do they ever say what the what the bottle is? They just jam it in. And I don't even think it's tequila. It's an entire bottle of tequila. Is is the tequila supposed to like pour into it as time goes on? Like they core a hole into it so it's like it comes out but it it fucking doesn't cuz there's watermelon in the tube of it. It's useless. Like, no tequila's coming out. And if any tequila came out, it'd be too much. That's bad. That's a bad time. That's a bad time. That is the worst way to make a mixed drink I think I've ever seen in my life. 
The watermelon popsicle thing, I might let slide, but we gotta do stuff. We gotta mark some stuff. Uh, I almost wanna say no, but I leave it to chat. I leave it to chat. Uh, I gagged. I gagged at the watermelon goop. I, th I think I got mad too. I wasn't a fan of that. Yeah, the Tom lurks the net is slightly blocking it. I'm sorry. I could move it. Here, let let me. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that live live on stream. Who done do? Excuse me. There. Now you can see more of the bottom and less of the top. If keep you lovely soul. Thank you for the 34 months. I hope the chat's got a couple of kazoos because I don't, but I do have. A horrible noise from me to you. It goes a little something like this. It's a remix of two noises I've made before. I hope you liked it. Um, let's... Let's mark, uh, frozen pizzas better. Definitely. I'd rather go to a party that has a frozen pizza. And some tequila. Prep time's insane for what it is. It, it really is. Where's prep time insane? <laughs> prep time insane. It was lovely. Thank you, Keith. I hope you enjoy yourself. Prep time, one eternity. <laughs> Is there anything else? Chat mad. Was chat mad? Was chat mad at this one? I think chat was fairly tepid. I don't think there was any rage. Way too long. Also, I would eat slash drink it. Yeah, I would. Egg nightmare. That's almost like a meat nightmare. Eh, nah. Okay. I was not big mad. Okay. Um... I want to mark off how do eat, because I know like how you're supposed to eat it, but it just wouldn't work. Sugar nightmare. Good point. Good point. Yeah, that's a shit ton of sugar. That powdered sugar, that was a whole container of powdered sugar. Why the hell did they add egg? I, I was told to bind, but I think it's gross. Undercooked, because isn't that just raw egg? I think you're right. <laughs> I think that is just raw egg. Can we Can we go back to it? Yeah, that's a raw egg, and it's raw egg whites. Also coming off of the eggshell, which is probably good. I don't know. I hate this. I don't know. It seems like it would be bad. I feel like it's something you couldn't do in the States, question mark? Or maybe you could do in the States, but you couldn't do in the UK. Fuck. God, it really depends on where you live. It really depends on where you live and how your country treats egg hazards. The U.S. is so picky with eggs. It's true. It is true. But that's because they do eggs different. You're supposed to freeze your eggs because they clean them. I think in the United States, they take the eggs and then they clean them thoroughly and then they, like, fuck with them in some way. Whereas in the U.K. and other countries, they just plop it out of the chicken and then grab it and then spit on it and shine it on their shirt and then they just put it in the grocery store. <laughs> Which is somehow better for the egg. Because it's some sort of process of like pasteurization, but not really. I don't know what, what happens in the US. In the US, the protective coating gets removed. That's what it was. Yeah, is it like an acid bath or something? I forget. <sighs> Eggs are weird. Eggs are weird and they don't make sense to me. I'm gonna mark dangerous. Because depending on where you live, this isn't okay. Okay? And I'm doing it. I'm jumping in, baby. We grow our chickens from our eggs are fine. Oh, okay. Fine, I guess you could do that. Actually, in Canada, it's the same as U.S. farms. I think they burn off the protective coating somehow. U.S. egg farms don't have the same cleanliness standards, so they wash the eggs instead of, uh, instead of have standard for the chickens. Yeah, I think I think it's like a factory farming thing where it's like, no, these, these chickens live in, like, bile pits. So the eggs are not safe to eat, and we got we to gotta clean them. We got to clean those eggs. Or you're gonna get like chicken sick on it. Pretty much, yeah, probably. And genuinely, I think there's a lot of places in the UK where it's like, I'm just a farmer and I've got my eggs over there and they, 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 the chicken shits them out and they land in a perfect little hay bale and I pick them up and I plop them in the market. Twice baked and fried for frozen? That's tempting, actually. Um, fuck. I, I don't think there's anything else we can mark other than comical plating. Look at this. I this is the stupidest. I feel like this punch bowl, this punch bowl is gonna get like stinky, and there's gonna be flies around it, and maybe a bee will land in it. Like I just I just don't trust food rind as a punch bowl. 
It's not super comical. It's not the most comical, but it's hitting, it's hitting levels that I don't like. Hmm. We could just keep going. We could just keep going. How do you eat? Damn. Damn. Feels low. Feels low for what we just embraced, but well, let's keep going. Uh-huh. of babble but just with free oh you're just cubing it okay oh so you didn't even want those uh-huh are you gonna make a fun necklace please don't Ch chocolate that is terribly cut. Okay. Oh, it's just being diced up. Okay. It doesn't matter. Going crazy with the... Yeah. Bane Marie. You mean double boiler? <laughs> Maybe this wasn't for English speakers. Plastic bag. Never mind. That's... That is not a plastic bag. Is it? Did you cut it and move it? Whatever. I hate this. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Cocoa powder, sure, sure, yeah. Oh, fucking ew. Okay. <laughs> oh, Chef's Club chocolate ice cream. You gotta use the Chef's Club chocolate ice cream. Uh-huh. And then you put it back in the fridge. They did nothing to it. It's still just... What? <laughs> okay, so it barely has an indent. Hot cup. That's not centered. That's so far off center. Oh, is it now centered? Shut the fuck up. Did he really just do that? Like, the, the end of this spiral's right here. I... Did he fuck up? Did they have to do another take? What was the point of the watermelon rind thing? Oh, ew. And then the chocolate anal beads. I hate this. What do you do? I would, I would fucking cry. If I got this as a birthday cake as a child, I would cry. Fucking nasty. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I hate, again, you know me, I hate fruit. I, oh. Dude, chocolate and watermelon and honeydew, or whatever the yellow thing is. Melon of a sort. Ugh. Anyways, um, where's Tom Gag? I already did it. Okay. Did Chad Gag? I don't know. No! Can we do big no for covering watermelon and chocolate? Why the fuck? Can I say prep time too long too? We already did that one. No! We did gag! I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's true. Chat gag, chat gag, and big no! No! Yes to no! Chat gagged all the no. Okay, we're doing no, and we're doing chat gag. I, I'm not going back on that. Uh, well, um... How do you eat? I think uh, they even show it. They even show how you're supposed to eat it, and I'm still confused. <laughs> like they have this, and then you cut it, and then you get like a strip of it. Yeah, you get a strip of it and a chunk, and then you just kind of slop it all in your mouth, I guess. I mean, I suppose. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Would eat, but probably tastes bad. <laughs> I like the honesty. Tube! You're right, that is tube food. That is a tube of food. Uh, comical plating, without a doubt. Uh, what happened to the popsicle? Was there a popsicle? I think that was the previous video. I don't think they had the popsicle in this one. They did do this stupid fucking thing with the meat, with the, the rind. I was gonna say the meat rind. The watermelon rind. And then turned it into, like, this shape. And it was for no reason. No reason whatsoever. Because by the end of it, they just put it on top. 
They could have just smushed out some chocolate and some plastic and called it a day, but no, they had to do it that way. Which also reminds me, there was bad editing there where he cut into the wrong spot and they just cut and were like, ah, uh, that didn't happen. I love fruit and this all seems so gross. Yeah, they don't. I don't. I don't know if they know what the flavor profile of fruit is, but it's interesting. Um, if there's anything else we can do, maybe Dairy Nightmare. Maybe a would eat if enough people say it. Unusual ingredients for the cheese mixed with the chocolate. Cheese? Is there cheese in the chocolate? Are they, oh, the mascarpone cheese. That's normal. I feel like that's normal, right? Doing like a, a chocolate mascarpone. Like that's, for some fucking reason, mascarpone cheese is like really savory and goes really well with chocolate. Like if you've ever had a cannoli, I'm pretty sure that's just mascarpone cheese. Fetish. I don't know if there's a fetish in there. I don't know. I usually don't get it for the yellow thing. Mm. Oh yeah, Chef's Club ice cream. Thank you. Oh, good eye. Uh, Chef's Club ingredient. Hmm. I think... I think it's done. I think this one's done. I got mad. Did you? How many people got mad? I'll mark chat mad if, chat, if enough people in chat got mad. I would go chat mad. Mad chat. Chat's mad. Ravenous. It did seem... Bad. It, se it seemed bad at a couple of moments. There's some screams. I got mad. I was mad. I was mad. Furious. Okay, that's enough for me. Not mad, just grossed out. Cannolis are made from ricotta. Oh, fuck. I didn't. Maybe I knew that at one point, but I confused that. Thank you for catching me. Shit. I gotta have another cannoli in my life. Gotta have another cannoli in my life. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's keep it going. Let's go from here. Ooh. Okay, now they're gonna make a star? Oh, that is a fucking, that is huge. Why did you open it like that? This guy wanted to show how strong he was. I want an episode where we show how big and strong I am and I ripped a watermelon open by a half. Caught the giga melon and I tamed it. He's mad, I should mark he mad. You score either edge to make a rind wedge, okay. Uh huh. This is the mold. This is the mold for the chocolate starfish. Oh, I just said chocolate starfish. Okay. <laughs> Freezer's only got ingredients he uses. Chocolate time. Getting it melty. Mmm. <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> Fucking gross. There it is. Mmm. It's the chocolate North Star. It's a bit kind of drippy and shit, but... Oh, he wants it to be. Is it supposed to be hollow? You don't want it to be solid chocolate? Okay. There it is. A weird looking chocolate star. Why not just use a normal mode? <laughs> Why a mold? Why not? Why use the watermelon? I don't know. I guess so it's like easy. You don't have to go out and buy anything. It truly is a hack. Speaking of, I don't know why you'd ever cut into Mega Melon like that. You have a knife, clearly. Like, this is a paring knife. Are you cutting around the egg? Oh my god. Okay. What? How did he do that? Okay. Well, sure. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, is that whipped cream? <laughs> That's all whipped cream on watermelon. Okay. So far, so good. This looks so tasty. Okay, so he diced it up. He's squishing it with his fingers. He's just putting it back on. Oh. Ew. Is that it? That's it. That's what he does. Why not just eat a fucking watermelon? Why do any of this? Just go eat some fucking fruit. I hate this. Oh, Sandy. Welcome, welcome. Oh, oh, I'm glad you can hang out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you stopped in. Welcome. 
These aren't recipes. They really, I, you should have a fucking item that is just not recipe. I don't know, how do we eat? Will you take it apart as you go? Do you cut into it? This one just pissed me off. I don't have a Tom Mad anymore though. He wasted so much chocolate for the Tiny Star. He really did. It was, it was so much that he just like scraped off and was like, eh, not so much. I don't like it. I'm mad again. It's just a pile of fruit with a fucking chocolate flower. <laughs> Why? Honestly? Would eat. Okay. Good thing to bring up. How many people would just eat some fruit? Would not make, but would eat. How many people would just eat this? Let's say you never had to put any time or effort into making it. You just had it in front of you. Would you consume it? Dairy nightmare between the chocolate and the whipped cream. I'd mark that. That's way too much fucking whipped cream. I, I, I can't, I cannot agree with you, but I'll mark it for your benefit. <laughs> I can't, I would not touch it. Fetish for water mushy. I think that's just because we're sick in the brain. I don't think there's anything fetishistic about. I mean, this, this is, can I say bad acting? He absolutely was like, no, I got to get a shot where I like destroy it. Ah, <laughs> it's so messy. <laughs> Alizara, thank you for following the channel. Welcome. Um... Bad acting? Such bad acting. Worst actor. I've never seen this guy either. Look at him. Dude, he's so cool. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, yeah, bad acting. First bingo, baby. I don't have a kazoo, but I have this noise I can make. <laughs> that sounded like a kazoo, right? <laughs> Anyways, bingo. Take, take a shot. Meat nightmare. It's water. Well, I guess it's red. I guess it kind of looks like meat. Ugh. Ugh. I don't think there's anything else to mark. I think it might have been one bingo, which is insane. Is it an interesting cake? Oh, no, the cake, I would have cried. I would have absolutely cried. Arctic! I did both thank you for the 22 months. Welcome. I don't have a kazoo for me to you, but I do have a noise I can make. It goes like this. It's a little bit more musical. I taste the fireball from here. The whole bottle. I could and I would, but I'm t I'm tempering myself because I get pretty drink drunk throughout the night. If I did a whole fucking bottle for each bingo, I'd be dead. I would be dead. Uh, cause while this is this is kind of sparse, it gets worse. Tom Starfish on the nipples. It's a fetish. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to know about that. Where's, where's fetish? Is that a bingo? It's not even a bingo. Do you guys want to mark fetish? I'll mark fetish, but I will, I will, uh, continue to be ignorant to whatever fetish this is. Cause this some, I don't know. I think he's just making a chocolate star. Which is gross and sound. A chocolate starfish is a euphemism, but that's about it. Only if you put the starfish on your nipples. He didn't though. <laughs> I'm noticing, I remember, he didn't, I don't think he did it. Maybe if he went through with it, you know? No fetish. Can't put my dick in that, that's true. <laughs> Maybe you can put it in the rest of the watermelon. It's off to the side. <laughs> Fucking Christ. I think this is it. I think that this is a one bingo card. One bingo. Uh. Shit, yeah, just one bingo. I'm sad about it. I'm sad about it. Uh, let's mark it off. Again with the one bingo gang. Everybody, there was a lot of people on one bingo. There was four, there was double last time with 10,000 beans on it. I have no idea how much is gonna go through on that. Chat devastated. Upset. No one could have predicted it had happened twice. I'm calling it. Choose outcome. One or zero. Bingo, bado, boom. There it is. Um, here's what we're gonna do. Because while that video was insane, uh, I don't think there's enough videos. I think what we should do before we watch for your streaming pleather. Pleather? I can't even talk is check out their channels. They have a bunch of different channels. There's Chef's Club Network, Vegetarian, The Steakhouse, Espana, Deutschland, Shorts, we're not gonna clock out Shorts. There's Patty Galloway. Who the fuck is Patty Galloway? And then pastries in Mexico and Korea and France, Brazil, Italy and kids. Should we do Steakhouse? They're just farming for views. Oh yeah, they're a content mill. Um, I'm thinking we should do, we should do this one. Supreme patty? Not nah, different patty, I think. Oh, I don't like the amount of raw meat I'm seeing. Are these all shorts? Okay, they can't all be shorts. Can I sort by not shorts? 
Most popular, how about that? Nine million, okay. I guess this is a shorts channel. Um, we're gonna have to struggle to find a video that's the recipe. They're all French, too. Burritos Mexicans. Yeah, I don't know either. Satan Bubbles! Satan Bubbles, thank you so much for the eight months. I wish I had a kazoo from you, but all I got is this big noise. Are you ready? I'm sorry. Okay, here's my plan. We assemble three Chef's Club Steakhouse videos, and then we do one pristine brand new bingo card on it. How's that sound? A plus noise, thank you so much. Is that a good idea? Life hacks while sun's up. Yeah, you better believe it. It's getting messy. It's getting messy with my plans. I think I wanna do club sandwich on cube. On a revisite un grand classique. They think this is a grand classic, huh? <sighs> okay, we're gonna do that one. Mini bol de poulet. I don't know what chicken mess that is. I'm glad I speak some French. Le burger des retroville. What the fuck? Um. Wow, the channel really does die off after a while. Um, let's do. Whatever the fuck. Flour casserole? No. Mini boulet de poulet is small chicken balls. Okay, let's do small chicken balls. <laughs> small chicken balls. One last. <gasps> Andy, bro, welcome. It's kind of weird to see you at <laughs> my normal awake times. T, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm coming in at weird hours. I hope you guys like it. I'd, I'd almost like to make it routine that I do this. Just at weird sunrise hours. What else can we do? Flour casserole? I don't know. The casserole is tempting. I almost want to pick this one because I don't know what it is. It looks weird. Bovet sur son lit de pomme de terre. Vo en volet. No idea. Well, you want to do burrito Mexicans? We can do burrito Mexicans. Hmm. I want to I take a gander a little bit lower, though. And I can only do ones that aren't shorts. I just don't want to do... Oh, there's one where they fuck up a chicken. Can we do the, ch the one where they fuck up a chicken? Le poulet de sedor le pilule. Hot dog raclette? Ew. Sure. I can fuck a chicken. Okay, let's see if we can fuck up a chicken. Uh, let's scroll up. I'm going to run a prediction. And I'm. I, this is going to be a little bit different because you're going to be able to see the first frame of every video. First frame. Does, why? He has a reaction? Live performances, zero viewers? I love this already. So this is called For Your Streaming Pleasure, A New French Toast Recipe. This isn't part of the prediction, but get ready for that. This, we can't do. This, this will be the first video. This is Club Sandwich on Cube, uh, a 114 viewed video. We've got this guy, which is, I... I have no fucking idea. He's just spiraling a potato. This is this is small chicken balls, <laughs> which we clicked on for name alone. And then this this one is he giving him a little bath? Uh, Le poulet de sedor le pilule. If you know French, you you have the upper hand here. So those are the three videos. I'm gonna start the prediction. Uh, start prediction. One through one through ten. There we go. Got it. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna mute the site, and we're gonna go look at whatever the fuck, for your streaming pleasure, a new French toast recipe. I'm thinking, have you guys seen like Japanese television shows where they have like a reactor in the corner? Is he choking down a bottle of Chef's Club? What is that? <laughs> Why has he got all these sponsors behind him? Kellogg's, Adidas? That's not Adidas, what is that brand? I can't even, there's Starbucks there. Fucking weird. Did you find this channel and just start making fun of it? No, this was this was recommended to me while we were doing a different segment called Life Hack Bingo, which we're about to get into. But um, yeah, I I it it has been a, a horrifying discovery. Let's go see what uh, for your streaming pleasure is. Let's see if he shouts me out. I would lose my fucking mind if he did. There's no chance. All right, guys. So thanks again. Wow, he said all right, guys, and got 1,700 viewers. That seems real and good. He's got a heart monitor. Is this a horror game? Okay. Thank you for joining us and uh, welcome to this 
where we're going to be talking about how it went, how I felt, and what was going on through my head while we were working on this recipe. There's an NFL logo? What is happening? Yeah, he's stressed at the amount of calories that's going up. He's got 14,000 viewers. I think by the end of this, he might have a million. <laughs> there we go. Now here we're picking up this bacon sheet, which we worked on very hard for y'all. And the problem was what? I wasn't sure it was going to stick. I thought it might fall while we were working on it, trying to stick it in there. Ew. But uh, luckily it did stay and it worked out well. This part did. A little salt. I love it. Good work. <laughs> Really now, real viewer numbers. He's already got 42,000. He's doing great. Onions, red, green, <laughs> and yellow bell peppers. Uh -huh. Let's pick this up so it doesn't leak on us. Smart moves. Smart moves. Yeah. This is so stressful. And the next challenge was, of course, to make sure that the eggs, egg yolks don't break again while we're putting some weight on them. And here we were adding... Is he botting? Yeah. <laughs> of, uh, mixed veggies. Take your time. Hats off to him. Hats off to him. I guess this guy just likes sports interviews, don't so he was gonna try and do that. You got some shredded I guess, cheddar. but for cooking, it's worth it. Worth the time. Worth the effort. What's Drop worth it? Drop these. So, here afterwards, gently placing some tomatoes and some chives. That went <laughs> nice. I think brings out the color. That was and nice. Gives I think gives it a little freshness. You guys can add anything you want. If you if if there's something that you don't like here, you can leave it out, or you can add an extra something. That's insane! Something. I'd guys, never believe it. You can find it. the recipe at ChefClub.tv, just as always, but <laughs> only at ChefClub.tv. This is you can't find this anywhere else. Go. Nice. <laughs> I don't think you now, could actually. Now we go close this up. Looks insane. So we grab our knife. Uh huh. And we do the same thing. We bring it under. Okay, here's the stress levels going up. Here we go. Get ready. You're about to get up stressed. Up no, this wasn't stressful. Here, the reason we're gonna go ahead and use a knife, you can use a spatula, you can use whatever you have at home, you can use a ruler if you want. He didn't say the, ru the uh, real. The the reason a ruler? A little time and not make it too long or too boring. So we're trying to use boring. We have uh, at our disposal to make this go faster and uh, make it. Uh, what are you doing with those sausages? At home. Into the sausage pocket they go. This jalapeno infused maple syrup. What? Ew. And of course, to make this even better, we thought we'd uh, go ahead and make a jalapeno infused uh, maple syrup to give it a taste and a kick. That give it a taste. Not commonly found, which yeah. is what uh, we. Dude's got 192,000 videos. It stopped right there. The that, viewers stop uh, coming in. Are different and <laughs> creative. So go ahead and grab see, grab some eggs. Uh huh. Milk. How, how many eggs? Is that more than a dozen? You know, a coffee cup. Coffee Sugar. mug's worth of milk. Uh huh. Little cinnamon. And uh -huh. vanilla extract. Dude, this is a live video, guys. We all have different recipes. The frame came in before the video. French toast for the mix for the French toast. Uh huh. The custard. We something very simple. That yeah. Uses little ingredients uh, that can meet anyone's budget. So we didn't. Meat! anyone's budget all you have to do is buy five packs of hot dogs a dozen eggs two loaves of bread cut in a weird way four packs of bacon you know anyone's budget anyone's budget for a regular average breakfast go too uh exotic on this oh hold up it's not gonna work that way so we're gonna grab this here <laughs> it's never made this before and drop there it, it is carefully <laughs> I can't even avoid a garden of six eggs. We go back. A half dozen fucks me up, dude. Now you got a soggy corner, my guy. Get it nice and soaked. Nice. This looks disgusting. I've made stuffed French toast before. I could not yes, imagine doing this. French toast. It's breaking. You're supposed to use stale so, bread. Again here. Just to let y'all know, guys. The reason we're doing this is to make something that is... Uh, Easy to share, easy to make. It didn't take a lot of time. Easy to share. See, I don't even think he's talking about like the video, like the food. I think he's talking about the video. He's like, people are probably gonna share this video like a lot. I think they might even put it on Facebook. To prepare and at the end, as you can see, it was live. We did this in under 10 minutes. At the time, end, was this was live? Minutes and 35 seconds. So you can literally do this 
right in here. You can literally do this, you guys. <laughs> and now you're going to follow me real quick to the oven. <laughs> it, where's the oven? Just a quick 20 minute jog to the oven, guys. We're, we're, it's, it's just down the block. Come with me to the kitchen. Oh, he's already got one lo locked and loaded. He made it live, but there's already one locked and loaded in this. I'm, this is, I don't understand this. And grab this out. Here we are. Huh? Finishing Here up, we are. Going to the oven. Of course, we have one prepared so you don't have to wait. Cool. So none of what you did mattered, really. You just get to see the end result, which is one that you didn't make live. Even though you're talking about how live you made it. Yeah, a classic. I've got a couple of those kicking around. I've got grill chef spatulas. Nice. That sure does look like a piece of bread toasted. That does not even look like French toast at all. Now. Oh, this video alone would block out the card. And it really would. This one, we're gonna go ahead and grab it. What do you guys feel about sausage pocket? Hot. Okay. <laughs> Why would you put? Oh, you you're go. supposed to stack it. Why? Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment. It's and not done. If you have any recipes you want us to try out, send them our way, and we will check it out. Thank you. There he is. It's Oscar. Dude, look at his stats. Dude, he's got such good stats. Don't Whoa. Forget to like, share, comment, how many how many penalties he, has he gotten out? though? How so many red cards? We will check it out. This is serious. I think they're gonna try and make it one. I'm so pissed they gave up on the let's just make Mayawana series. This is so bad. Oh god, I can't even pause it at the last one. So that's that's it. He got 192,000 views. He got 1.2k shares. I think he was talking about how shareable his video was. <laughs> I bet you anything. When you work at a content mill, all you have is somebody breathing down the back of your neck going, how many shares are you going to get? How many shares are you going to get? That video that you uploaded yesterday doesn't got as many shares as this video that Samantha output. She output a shareable video. What are you doing, Oscar? This is weird. This is scary. This is like a look behind the scenes. Oh. Anyways. I'm sad it wasn't for my streaming pleasure. It was just a video that existed and was fake streamed, but not. 6K on YouTube. Yeah, that, I mean, this is going cra gangbusters. It's crazy. That was uploaded July 1st. It's been a little over a week. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that they're never going to make one of those again. I think this is the only one we're ever going to see. I don't even want to look at the 4th of July cake. This is the 4th of, whoopsies. This is the 4th of July cake, which is broken now. Yeah, it's broken. Anyways, you guys ready to do the video? You guys ready to do this bingo card? We got it primed, we got it ready. And our first video is a club sandwich cube. It's a grand classic, they're revisiting it. This is gonna be so much better than last time. Here we go. Oh, it looks so oily and fucking greasy. Okay, here we go. Now they've done this before, as implied by the whole, it's a classic, we're redoing it. I just don't know what they're gonna change. Why does it look like a swastika? That's just how club sandwiches look. I got pain de meal. Okay, so it's just like a breaded chicken cutlet thing. <laughs> this looks not good already. Yeah, the toaster looks nice. Oh. Look at all the excess. It's so much excess. Do you just throw that stuff out because it's not cube shaped or rectangle shaped? Hmm. Uh, okay. Some tomat. That's the cutlet. Bacon also squared off. Cube food. <laughs> Do you think we should mark tube food for this? A cube is just a tube with less sides. <laughs> or with more sides, sorry. I don't really know what that is. I assume that's like a mayo with a grain mustard, but... Eggs, cheese, another on top. Done deal. Uh, yummy. 
Nice. You gonna stack them hot? This is so much. This isn't horrible. It's not, but it's about to be. <laughs> okay. Another coating. Nice. There it is. That's the key. It's falling apart. I'm surprised he doesn't just deep fry the sandwich. Why would you ever make this? Just eat some sandwiches. Oh. It starts out vaguely edible, and then you know the crime's coming. Yeah, here's, here's the crime. I saw it fall apart, too. Oh, man. Oh, yuck. Oh. I'm sorry. Let's keep going. The forbidden Minecraft block. You mine and then you find one of these suckers. What do you do? Okay, well. I don't know. I, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna go right back to how he acted. Let's see if we can knock out a bad acting right now. He does not look happy. He's not even trying to act. Yeah, can we even mark bad acting when he just he just gives up midway through? He's frowning. He kind of is. Mouth hand says yes. Mouth says no. Yeah. yeah. That's a yes queen for sure. Skyler, Skyler, welcome. Thank you so much for the twenty five months. I wish I had a kazoo for me to you. But hopefully chat does in in my stead. I do have, of course, a horrifying noise. And my horrifying noise is... <laughs> I let the spirits take me. Uh, where's bad acting? I think that warrants a bad acting. Definitely. Boom. Done. Cube food. Should we mark tube food because it's big cube food? It's not a tube. It is a cube. But a cube is still tube-like, right? It's just a cubic tube. It has the same energy. See, when we say tube food, we're not saying cylindrical food. I think you could make a tube and it also could be a pentagonal. It could be a pentagonal tube, you know? It's rhymes, there's also that. <laughs> so bonus points for rhyming for cube food. <laughs> Gross. Um. Okay, I hate to be a piece of shit here. I'd eat this. I'd eat this. I don't think I'd ever make it. I, you know what? Prep time is insane. I would never make this in a million years. But I would eat it. It is just like a nice sandwich that has some gross cheese in it. Disappointed in you. The, che the cheese is almost enough to offset me, but I'd eat it. I'd fucking eat it. Uh, it's just a thin layer of cheese on the top. I'd eat it. I'd munch it. I'm thinking of Mark and Woody. Where's Woody? Boom. Easy. Peel the cheese off. I'd let the cheese be in there. My allergies could never. That's fair. Is it a dairy thing? There was actually there's cheese on the there's a shit ton of cheese on the outside, and there's I think two different cheeses on the inside. Ooh, I hear an objection. Uh do we say dairy nightmare? I think it's a dairy nightmare. I think it's a little bit. Hot lettuce. Yeah, that is gross. Hot, wilted, yucky lettuce. I guess it's not really cooked right in the middle, but... Mm. Burning Rangers. You better believe it. Good ear. You're not even at the lyrical part yet. Um, if there is one, maybe this is just lyricless. Uh, Cherry Tomato, no. Chat Mad, maybe. Dangerous? Nah. Unusual ingredients. There it is. Um, I was mad because they ruined the sandwich. Crank it up. Can I, can I even do that? I can a little bit. Um, is there anything we can mark off? What's that song? Dude, this is Burning Rangers. Get ready for the chorus. You'll recognize it. But twice baked or fried for the chicken. It is fried chicken and then in a cast iron grill. Ooh, what was the plating like? 
It's, it's not the worst. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> it's not the worst. I'm marking twice baked or fried. That I, I deserves it. I don't know if there's anything else we can do. I don't think there were any cherry tomatoes. It's a lot of bread. Actually, that really is. It is a lot of bread. Let's do Carb Nightmare, and I think we'll keep it going. My sister and look like a swastika. You're gonna have to send uh, a mail in the Chef's Club Steakhouse and find out, because I have no idea what their goal was with that one. Ketchup is made from cherry tomatoes. Not exclusively, they could be regular tomatoes, so. Anyways, spiral potato. I do not own a spiralizer, but cool. Uh, salty water? What is this? The olive. American style cheese hot dog. Oh, I will watch that. That sounds awesome. Hey, Tyler. Pause. Reject. Pause. I want to see this. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, okay. Just kind of fucking up some chicken. Seasoning it in weird ways. Not bad. Not bad. I think it'd be really dry, because it's thin as shit, but whatever. I, I can't even say if there's unidentified ingredients. I don't know enough French. A potato bun? Oh, squish it up. Just squish the shit out of it. Why? Okay, so there's the mixture. A little bit of cheese. Or is that a mushroom? Okay, a bit of a chicken. Bacon. What are you doing? <laughs> what? I hate this. Is this? Oh, I thought that was spaghetti. <laughs> okay. There it is. Spiralized little crispy crunchers. I like that. That's not bad. Yeah. Yum. Are you gonna deep fry those bread balls with chicken in them? Why? Are you gonna like get a dipping sauce? Why is there a side of tomato? I don't even know what the sauce is. Fuck it. Man, I want those crispy potatoes. Okay, so uh, terribly dry and disgusting is what's on the menu tonight. Why? Why is there a side of tomato wedges? Tomato wedges with cilantro? I'm, I'm sorry, uh, tribes? That's the healthy bit. Oh, that's true. If you just ate that, you'd be healthy. God, it looks like good bar food. I would hate it. If it was, if it was like pizza dough or something, I don't know. Just like taking a burger bun and then crushing it with your hand, I... There's something viscerally unappealing about that. Um, I gagged. Where's Tom gagged? I gagged when he crushed up the ball. I did not like it. Um, I don't know what else to mark off. I just hated it. I, that's all I could say. I'd say a frozen pizza's better. I'd rather eat a fucking pizza. That seems like an easy uh, mark for me. Overcooked. Yeah, I think chicken would be weird. <laughs> frozen pizza would be better. Tom's not into ball crushing. Not a fucking chance. Not a fucking chance. Frozen pizza. A big no. I could do a big no. I'm gonna. Do, do you think it's a big no? I'd mark it. I'd mark big no. 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 Cherry tomato for sure. No, that's a that's a big tomato. That's not cherry. No, I'd eat it. No. I'll mark no. And then I'll ask chat. Would you eat it? I might be with you, straight edge, but I still can't get past the the bread ball crust thing. And the chicken would be so dry. I feel like it wouldn't taste good. I really, like, the base components in my mind are like, those would taste good together, but not in this way. Like, it'd be too dry. I think it'd be terribly flavorless. 
Yeah, think about receiving it. Yeah, if I ordered this at a pub, I, I still think it would taste bad. I still think it would taste bad. Like, I, it just does not look good. The only thing that would make it be good tasting is the sauce. Like, all of this is just... Oh, it, do, it just doesn't look like it would taste like anything. I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's why the sauce is there, right? Do you think the first one was undercooked since the eggs are all covered in bacon and bread and things? No, I think they're fine. They're okay. I think. Make the chicken. Make it taco style. And better ways to accomplish this? Just make garlic knots, cover them with cheese and stuff and chicken. Oh, that'd be so good. God. You guys are gonna make me hungry. After this stream, I might go drunkenly waddle down to a McDonald's and eat a burger. That's how hungry I'm getting. For no reason. Um... I could- I feel like I could say overcooked on the chicken. I- like, I don't- it's not really overcooked, but it doesn't look like it has any juice. It doesn't have any chicken juice. I, that sounds gross, too. It just looks too dry. It looks really, 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 really dry. And that is overcooked. Wait a minute. <laughs> Florist in AS Cat. Thank you for following the channel. Unless your name is Florist in a uh, Scat. In which case. I'm more confused than ever. Thank you for the eight months, so fuck. Did you change the capitalization on your name? I've got no kazoo, but I hope chat does. And I have a horrible scream for me to you instead. <laughs> fuck. Looks dry and then deep fried, no thanks. Thank you! Yeah, Nick! I, I, it, it just, it feels like it would be painful to eat and then would make my mouth dry. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm marking overcooked. Oh, man. What happened to your kazoo? Um, I'm just traveling right now. I'm in London visiting for a wee bit before I go off to TwitchCon Amsterdam. And, uh, I didn't, I didn't pack my freaking kazoos. I'm kind of a dummy. I'm kind of a dummy guy. Couldn't get it through customs. These are other old weapons. Um... Cherry tomato, chat mad, fetish dangerous. I don't know, nothing, nothing really else. I'm tempted to say comical plating because of the tomato. But I could be crazy. I mean, it's up to you guys if you think that the tomato's too much. I think the tomato's too much. If I got a plate with a, with a tomato wedge and some chives on it, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I wouldn't want to eat it. <laughs> I'd be off put, man. No, it's also because Susan London? No, it's also a weapon. <laughs> Need a license. I'm thinking I'll go find some. There's like a party city type of thing near me. I could go get one. It's just a garnish. It's just stupid. Uh, it doesn't like pair with it. Tomato equals peak comedy. Dude, I cackle when I see it. <laughs> I'll mark it. I'll mark it because it's weird. And then we'll move on to the last one. Chicken bath. I forgot. I forgot the last one was chicken bath. You guys ready for chicken bath? Let's take a chicken bath. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's chillin'. He's even got flavor text. He's also got a rod up his ass. Hello? <laughs> Is there audio? Is there audio in this? Sorry, get out of here, King's Quest. Um... Oscar, tu nous fais un poulet rôti aujourd'hui. Do you think I could uh, turn on subtitles for French and then make them English. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I I'm still gonna mute it because we can't understand anything that's being said. Well, I can't, but the subtitles will help. Oscar, you're making us a roast chicken today. Yes. Can you see what you're doing here? I'm doing, going to borrow a wooden pick from above the thighs to put back here. And there he goes. Don't know why that was in his ass. Uh, so what are you gonna do? Get ready for the Oscars, but here we're going to make the darling father-in-law of two one and two nice. Okay, so the subtitles aren't helping. <laughs> Did they say what those herbs were? You know what? That mouse might say. I can't translate it. This feels like a waste of butter already, but we'll just keep going. <laughs> weed covered butter. That's how you make uh, THC butter. Everyone knows. <laughs> a wee bit of butter. Nice. 
Baking paper? Oh, slopping it off. Smushing it with your hands. What is happening? Uh-huh. She's making butter strips? Seasoned butter strips. The patties. Oh, he's gonna bake some potatoes. Dude, he is so good. A tinfoil roll in those potatoes. Those are like store-bought tinfoil rolled potatoes. Probably <laughs> would have been better. It really would have been! They never use the right cook- There's one right there. They never use the right cooking stuff. Is that wine? Okay, white wine. I think. Oh, you gotta use the Chef's Club chicken seasoning. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey. No! See, you guys have never been to a frat house before. This is normal. Y'all have never been hazed. <laughs> hey, you got the bottle in your ass. Yeah. Uh, Did you jam it in? Is it still in there? I think he just hammer slammed the chicken with the bottle in his ass. Absolutely, he did it. That is the, that is the neck right there of the bottle. Oh, that's gonna make it tasty though. All the, that stuff. Are you gonna cut through the chicken skin so the bottle can come out? Why? Oh, it's just so the skin doesn't break or swell or anything. Okay, never mind. Uh-huh. There's the butter strips. Oh, he's gonna stick them in the, the slots, isn't he? Ew. Hi. <laughs> all of it's gonna come out. None of that's gonna stay in the chicken skin. It's all gonna drizzle out. This one might drizzle in, but all of these ones are just gonna drizzle down into the basting mess. Is he standing up? Why the bottle? There's a baked potato, sure. Cool. How is he gonna make this worse? There's no way, right? That blue cheese? Oh no, that's the butter from before. That's cheese. Uh-huh. You're gonna mush it with your fingers? Oh, there we go. That's a buttery, potatoey, cheesy mess. Not quite mashed potatoes, not quite good. I see cherry tomatoes. Why? Why wouldn't you just make a chicken good? Why you gotta slam jam a bottle in its ass? Did you hate this chicken before it died? What's wrong with you? Boss fine if they cook it low. I... Do they say how what they cook it at? They say one hour, and I know it's cut off. They say one hour at 190 degrees Celsius. That isn't that high. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine, I guess. I just don't like the idea of using a beer bottle because it's gross. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? What are we marking? What are we marking? Personal vendetta. Dude, for people that hate chicken absolutely despise them. How do we eat, maybe? Mad. Is chat mad? Did we say chat mad? Cherry tomato I saw. I think we already marked off chat mad. Oh, maybe we didn't. Chat mad was chat mad. Fetish. Okay, we'll do fetish. Chat mad? I propose a new square of why. That's a better... We should probably just take off how do you eat and put down why. Or maybe take off, like, meat nightmare. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a dead space necromorph. <laughs> I said, yeah, no, that's apt. Um, beer can chicken is a thing, but the can doesn't go in nearly. <laughs> Cooking's weird, and I don't like it anymore. Um, oh, Chef's Club ingredients are right. They use Chef's Club seasoning. That's a bingo. That's a bingo. Cheers, everybody. I've got the last of my fireball. Yeah. Here we go. Ew. It's out. Bye bye. Ugh. Who? Um. I don't know what else, Mark. I don't know what else, Mark. It's got to be something, right? Um. I gagged. I guess chat mad. Probably there is a bit of anger. I should go back to that. Is there anything else? Hmm. 
Depending on how heat safe the glass is, I assume not at all baking it is pretty dangerous. I really want to jump to dangerous. I feel like the glass could fracture, and then you got glass in your chicken. The bottle's unusual. That's true. Would you say it's dangerous and unusual, or just one? French are too uptight to use the can, gotta use the fancy bottle. Exactly, it's a white wine bottle, that's way fancier. Also, I can't imagine you using all of the fucking wine that you have on this one recipe. Like, how much did he use? Was it the last glug? Dangerous and unusual, I wanna do it. 190 is okay for glass, if you go above 300, it could break. I trust that, I do trust that. He uses an entire bottle of wine. It's a tiny bottle, but it's an entire bottle. It's also a very weird size. It's like a personal bottle. Hmm. Well, it's unusual. Man, I'm so tempted to mark dangerous. Kiki! Kiki, welcome. How you doing? I, I, I always mark unusual in this glass in the oven. I feel like it would go against the grain to not mark it now. Uh... Arr. I'm making noises. Dangerous, unidentified ingredients. Were there really? I don't remember. I don't want to trust straight edge because straight edge benefits. I see that three beside your name. Dangerous, I think. How do we eat bottle? <laughs> yeah, it's good for crunching, good for biting. Hmm. What what he put on the chicken literally just says spices. Really. I mean, it was notified as Chef's Club Spices, but also... Oh my god, you're right, it just says Spices. So even if you wanted to recreate it, you couldn't. They expect you to buy Chef's Club. Fuck it. Unidentified ingredients and dangerous. That's three bingos. Three additional bingos. A horizontal and two vertical. We're getting crazy. Gra glass adds fiber. Thank you for trusting me. I had to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to trust you. I had to. Eh. Just don't own glass baking dishes. I do though. I do, dude. You can't. You can't make a casserole in anything. But right. Anyways, cheers. Oh, the diagonal. Well, we already drank for that one. <sighs> okay. Finito. Finito. We've got one. We've got two, we've got three. We've got four with the diagonal. Do we wanna mark, okay, hear me out. Do we wanna mark how do eat? Cause honestly, I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> I have no idea how to eat this. It's just, it. I. <laughs> if I was presented this, I'd be scared. Cause the bottle's still in it, right? Is that the bottle, or is this where the bottle was? I don't know. You just bite into it, you just pick it up. Like, I don't think he gave me a knife or anything. It's almost a meat nightmare, too. Fuck, there's a lot. It's a meat nightmare, it really is, right? Kind of like a ham. <laughs> like, I know how to cut a chicken, but like... Yeah, they, it took a bath before all the other stuff. I don't either. I also don't know why it's got a bath of soup in front of it. It's got a little jus bath. Yeah, why did it... Why did this happen to it? Why does it- can anyone explain why this part happened? What was that about? <laughs> why did the- Do you want the legs to be watery? Like what? So we can fuck it. You gotta wine and dine the poor son of a bitch. First in the hot tub, then you bust out the wine, and then you roast it. <laughs> Christ, the imagery. He's just chilling to make it look bad. <laughs> Oh man, this is horrible. I had to moisten the anus before you're shoving a bottle of wine in its ass. I usually let my chicken hang out. That's nice, you know, in its final moments. Seasoning the water. Ah, with salmonella. <laughs> a flavor for the ages. Use <laughs> the bottle. Y'all are gross. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think I'm fine with closing the bingo card now. I'm sure I can figure out how to eat it, and honestly, it's not much of a chicken nightmare. It just It's just one meat. It's not a meat nightmare. That is four bingos. That is four bingos on the card, baby. Let's do prediction. Four bingies. 16% of chat voted for that, too. Well, 16% of people that picked it. Oh, I almost picked the wrong fucking one. I almost picked six. Choose outcome. Four. There we are. 
4th of July fruit one? Oh, you guys want to see the 4th of July fruit thing? Oh, man. I just, I don't trust it. <laughs> Chef's Club shorts. They don't even link back to the regular Chef's Club channel. That's really annoying. Okay, Chef's Club Steakhouse. You crazy sons of guns. Um, here it is. So, I'm gonna mute my music, because this one might have sounds. This is a Google, this, sorry, Google. This is a YouTube short, so the aspect ratio is gonna be really fucked up. This is about good. No, it's not. He's cutting into jello and making a jello thing. It's blue and red and white. You can make white jello. Did he make white jello? Maybe that's chocolate. I don't know. I. Uh huh. I don't know what that was. <laughs> this is impossible to recreate. Ew. And there it is. Happy 4th of July, everybody. <laughs> I'm dizzy just watching this. This is the magic of short form content. I love that short form content is the antithesis of Twitch streaming. <laughs> this is like the longest form content you could ever possibly enjoy. And this is like, no, 10 seconds. Now get out. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay. We got a little bit of a problem. A Chef's Club bingo is, is no more. This bingo card is done. I think it's about time that we move into regular motherfucking bingy, okay? Click the link in chat if you haven't yet. Uh, we got a new bingy card. Boom! Uh, this one apparently is used, but let me generate a random new one. Yes, please. There it is. We've got a free space mark. And before we really, really, really continue, I was recommended a video, and I want to see this really quickly. This is called... Um, was it American hot dogs? American style cheese hot dog and pizza dog. These look fucking phenomenal. I would kill to have one of these. I'm not gonna let the full video play, but look at this. Cleans off all the hot dogs, has industrial sized amounts of pickles to cut into like a homemade relish. A million eggs, a bit of cream to make a custard. A little omelet type thing. Egg shreds. A cutlet? Is that a beef cutlet? That's bacon. It's a pork cutlet. <laughs> bunch of cheese. Bunch of dogs. Oh. Oh my god. Don't make this is this will make me hungry. Even though it's just like the worst food. <laughs> like this isn't good for you at all. Oh, he's breaking up the lettuce, stuffing it in, getting some onions on there. Jam slamming a dog. I don't know how I feel about lettuce on my dog, but those onions are perfect. They're pencil thin. Oh, he's gonna do amazing things to them, isn't he? Just a bunch of relish. Dude, this is like a ballpark dog. These are great. Oh. It's a really weird looking ketchup. Corn. Oh, they're going crazy. I love it. Dude, corn on the hot dog is good. Don't knock it till you try it. It's great. Is that barbecue sauce? I have no fucking idea. Just getting cheesy goop. Goopy cheese on top, too. Oh, stop. Oh, that's too much. I don't know what, what even sauce is orange. I love it. I'm in, I'm in heaven. I'd order this in a heartbeat. Are you kidding me? This is enough food to like finish me off for a day. <laughs> I'd eat this and then I'd pass out. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, here comes the bacon. Mm, that's some weird looking bacon. It definitely doesn't look, uh, it looks kind of undercooked. Anyways, boom, boom. A little bit of cream and stuff there, baby. Oh, this is the egg. Sorry, this is the egg. Egg on top of it. Is that just, it's not like bulgogi. What is that? That looks like really nice seasoned beef. Teriyaki beef? I don't know. I'd eat that. Damn. Straight up raw bacon. It really is. I didn't I didn't want to comment too harshly on it, but it looked pretty fucking raw. Is that some more cheese? Plop in the cheddar. Oh. I like that cheddar plop. That is a good... I mean, it's... Oh. Mm. I want to go out and eat this, but I can't. I'm fucking starving. Dude, the only thing that's open near me right now is a McDonald's. You're putting more beef on it. Oh. Oh, there they all are. Heavenly beauties. 
That is so much fucking food. This is a this is a hot dog I'd be willing to spend twelve dollars on. Even though I definitely shouldn't. It's probably only like five dollars at most in ingredients. I'd spend like twelve bucks. And I'm thinking in Canadian here. I don't know. Maybe I'd pay, spend fifteen. That looks so good. How the fuck up? I hate it. I'm mad about it. So funny thing with these types of channels, they don't cook the bacon for to our standards. There's never any crispy bacon. It's pain. Wow. That's really gross and weird. Huh. Is it even a hot dog anymore? It really isn't. It's something else. And they got the cheese bowl too. They really they really did everything. Okay. Before we do what I, I'm gonna suggest, let's go to five minute crafts. Let's see what those sons of guns are up to. They're doing creative nail stuff. Oh wait, that's DIY. Summer hacks for parents. I'm already in. That sounds great. They just uploaded that. Summer hacks for parents, best DIYs and tips. We gotta do that. Sneak, how to sneak favorite food, genius food hacks. Everybody loves food hacks for awkward situations. I'm, I'm in so many awkward situations that require food. Um, rich versus poor, flawless beauty hacks and gadgets. I hate the word gadget, but sure. Uh, too cool for school. This is so stupid. Okay, they've been on the grind. They've been uploading a lot of videos. I think we are in for a treat tonight. Before we do any of it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this beautiful music off. Do we want to do trim trim? That's the real question. That's the, that's the fucking threat I have for you. Do you want to do trim trim? No. There's a lot of no's. I'm gonna make this a fucking poll, okay? I'm making this a poll. To troom or not to troom? I'm about to troom. Yeah? No, please. Okay, um, there we go. We've got a five minute duration. This is the big one, baby. This is the big one, okay? Beans are enabled. Bits are enabled. It's a free for all. Because part of me wants to trim, and another part of me doesn't. Forgive my ignorance, but what is trim? You will find out, maybe. There's a chance you won't find out. They're their own weird, horrifying channel. Um, and if if you're off put by the fact that chat's gonna go perfectly silent in a second, it's because everybody's rapidly voting for their favorite thing. Okay? Nobody's gonna be fucking talking for the next couple of minutes, so... If you want, <laughs> talk with me. Hi, what's up? What's on your mind? No, please. Two kinds of people in this world. Basically, right? Jesus Christ. Pain is what Troom Troom is. It truly is. It is It is a weird, frustrating, horrid pain. My bean button broke. Dang it. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. If you want to rig it with beans, beans are worth more than... Or sorry, bits are worth more than beans. Be I think one bit is worth a hundred beans. Something like that. You look like you need a Big Mac and cheese. I really do. It's the one thing holding me together. And I got none of it. And honestly, I have a leftover steak in the fridge. I might just eat that. It's, it's a steak with a... God, it's not a chutney. What the fuck is the thing on the top of it? It's a chimichurri butter sauce thing. I have 100k beans from my DJ gambling and I will use them. This is the time to use them. I've been paid to vote for Troom. Oh, God. <laughs> paid voter. <laughs> it's a winning. Yes, it is winning at the moment. Uh, it's 63% of people with beans want it. 37% don't want it. I honestly... I wanted this to be a long one because I, I want that, that, that feeling of like, Oh, it's, I'm so tired. It's a five-minute poll. I'm going to stop. And that's when the people on no can start fighting back. Or the reverse, okay? I'm fine either way. Saw a screenshot of one of the videos on your channel you're talking about, and I already know what it is. It's gonna be about, it's gonna be bad, whatever it is. But speaking of, let's go see if there actually is one that we can find. Cause it has to be a hack video. I'm even voted for both. <laughs> How could you? You throw the system out of whack. Can we look up hack? There's 10 matches. There's popular versus unpopular hacks to become popular in jail, but also unpopular, but also hacks. I think we saw that one, didn't we? There's parenting hacks, such as cover your feet in goop. This is the old goopy foot hack. I hate that one. 
Good Moms vs. Mad Moms Parenting Hacks. You've seen that one. Smart and Sneaky College Hacks. 30 Smart Hacks for College Supplies. Like pencil crayons. You know when you go to college and you gotta get your, your fucking pencil crayons ready? Nasty. Rich vs. Broke Best Parenting Hacks. Tempting. Absolutely tempting. Uh, best Twin Parenting Hacks. Are you parenting twins or are the twins themselves parents? How does that fucking work? I don't know what's happening. Um, okay, next one. Genius hacks for smart pet owners if you're, if a poor teenager bought a pet shop. We're watching that one. We're watching that one. Genius hacks for smart pet owners if a poor teenager bought a pet shop. A poor teenager. He's poor. How the fuck do you buy a pet shop? Maybe he was like not poor before he bought it. Then he bought it and he went bankrupt immediately. <laughs> Are the twins pulling parent trap hacks? I don't know. This whole thing is a mess, man. I will look at the poll here. 69. Nice. Percent of people have voted for yeah. And 31% of people have voted for no, please. Probably just make it a 70-30 split. We should probably, yeah, we could we could end it here. I think, I think there's no coming back. I think we're gonna be doing the pet store one. I really like it because it's gonna have pets, okay? We're gonna have pets, it's gonna be great. Here's the issue with these hacks though. For those who don't or aren't familiar with Trim Trim, we have to have them with audio on or we won't understand what's happening. Um, in the meantime, hey, look, bingo card, bingo card's ready to go. If you don't have your own bingo card, type exclamation mark bingo in the chat. Uh, this one is just smart pet hacks for pet owners, 10 minutes long. Uh, we're going to do a prediction for it real quick. Start prediction. This one's going to be kind of fast. Uh, actually, we'll just leave it at two minutes. Two minutes is fine. Start prediction. Boom. It's ready. It's going. Pets better than children. That's genuinely fair. That's genuinely fair. Didn't Troom Troom do a survival self-defense hacks that was legitimately dangerous? Yeah, they did. Yeah. They said if if your captor, the captor that handcuffed you to the wall, drops his gun, you should pick the gun up, and when he returns to the room, give him the gun. And then when he's so amazed that you've given him the, back the gun and he started to regain faith in humanity, you fucking just run out of the room. <laughs> I forget how you get unhandcuffed, but that was that was the hack. I mean, true, honestly. I, I think I'm gonna be using that one. <laughs> it's a very relatable situation, being handcuffed to the wall and the guy that handcuffed you to the wall drops his gun within grabbing range and leaves the room. Very relatable. Everyone's been there. And it's honestly embarrassing when you don't know what to do. A lot of people think they can just shoot the guy. But then how do you get unhandcuffed, silly Billy? What, you shoot the handcuffs? Shut up. No. What you're supposed to do is give him the gun. Be a polite little Penelope. I'm a polite little Penelope. I give the gun back. <laughs> the handcuffs weren't locked. Is that really what it was? They just, he forgot. He dropped his gun and forgot to lock the handcuffs. Shoot your wrists off. Oh, sorry. Shoot the handcuffs off. Chat moved a little bit and confused me. Uh, let me see what the prediction is right now. We've got 2,000 beans sitting on one or zero. I think this is gonna be more than one or zero. None on nine or 10, for the love of God. Please, this is my hint to you. Somebody put some beans on nine or 10, you might win, okay? This is like, this is gonna be chock full of stupid. It's chock full of it. If you thought Chef's Club wasn't providing, this is gonna crank out bingos like no other, okay? There we go. We got 10k on 9. We got 50 on 10. I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. There's beans on everything. Okay, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm muting my music. <laughs> and we're starting it off. Mom! Dad! I found a dog! That's the worst looking dog I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, let me know if it's too loud. It already hurts my ears. Huh? No dogs at home. Put it back immediately. Put it Why? Back? There's only one way out. I hope my savings will be enough. Is he buy? Hi. Huh? I'm buying this pet store. That's uh -huh. not funny. Fine. 
Is this enough? Ooh. The store is yours! Yay! Good luck! Dude, that guy was in debt. <laughs> that pet store owner was in debt, and at the end of his rope, he was like, I wish a 10-year-old comes in here and gives me 40 bucks so he can take on all the debt. The voice is making me violent. This is the curse of Trim Trim. This is the curse of Trim Trim. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I'm sorry. The store belongs to me. He runs the Trim store. There he is. Okay. What is that? Oh, look Let at the cat. Sleep. That's a cute cat. Look at him. He's cute. You I like see? him. Is that you? Don't that... wake me up. What a piece of shit. Hey. Dude. Done. Thanks for shopping with us. Are you just going to give him your cat? Good afternoon. Hi. I'm really sleepy. Here's coffee. It'll give you a boost. What? Thanks. So, the moment I fall asleep, my cat comes running to me. She hops on me and wakes me up. Uh -huh. It's horrible. But I know how to help you. Here's a soft cushion. Place it on a table and go to sleep. Wow. I'm sorry, we can't. I, okay, we're, before we keep going with the video, where's bad acting? <laughs> I can't, I can't not. I cannot not. Bad acting. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, how does it work? How does it work? Why do you do this to us? Everybody voted for it. Everyone wanted this. Thank you. Bye. My pleasure. Bye. Okay, here it is. It's bedtime. Is that a Heinz ketchup phone case? The table is here. You're gonna See? go to Where sleep with you? a with a table there. on oh, you? You're sleeping on your pillow today. And I'm sleeping in my bed. Sweet dreams to us. Sweet dreams to us. Okay, so that's the hack. That was the first, that was the first hack. There's gonna be like eight more of these guys. We got this, we got this. What do we mark? Your cat is sleeping on your tummy and you don't like it. So you take a, a, a fucking breakfast in bed tray and you put a pillow on it and then you expect your pet, cat to sleep on it. Like, I wanna say it wouldn't work. Your cat would still hang out with you. Causes more problems. Yeah, you're not allowed to move in your sleep or it'll knock it over and your cat will be sad. Product. N I want to say product. I'm okay with product because you have to go fucking buy a, a breakfast in bed tray. I don't know anyone that owns one of those. Not to say that it doesn't exist. I've seen them in movies. But, ah... Not a hack. It really isn't a hack. It's just let your cat go to bed so... Somewhere else, it's nothing. Uh, you own multiple? You got a collection of them? <laughs> what are you doing, Fanta? Cat sleeps in my arms under the blanket with me. That's cute as shit. What's the problem? Okay, I'm hitting no one has this problem. I'm hitting no one has this. If you have a cute cat that's cute, you want them sleeping on your tummy. Because that's cute and sh stuff. Hmm. I'll take this, this, uh -huh. and this. No, two of those Whoa. aren't even dog toys. He They're stuffies. to get all the toys. Is that a problem or great? <laughs> Thanks for shopping. Come again. Thank you. You too. Huh? What? Hold on. You forgot the dog. Oh. How could I do that? Aw, oh, man. Hmm. I dropped all my toys. I have an idea. A bag? An organizer belt just for dog toys. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you on? Amazing! This is for you! Thanks! I'm almost- Okay, so buy an organizer belt for dog toys is the next hack. I'm marking product. That's- you just- you have to go buy that. I'm regretting my yes. Yeah, well, that's the magic of Troom Troom. Um, do you want- you guys want to mark big no? Is it big no time? I feel like it might be. When would you ever need to have a utility belt for dog toys? You're Batman, and you're about to fight a bunch of dogs. Chat mad. Is chat mad? Is chat mad and no? I'll do it. Always. Batman, but shitty. <laughs> big no big time. I'm mad. Dog man. <laughs> All of Trim Trim is no. The bat utility belt. I need to carry the dog toys. Dude, you can't. You don't need that. You don't. I'm doing no, and then I'm just going to chat mad. 
I'm not mad yet. I'm cackling still. So sorry, guys. I'm not. I'm not having a bad time. I'm quite. I'm quite enjoying this madness. Just did the finish line. Four. What? It's the same cat. He really loves pressing keys. <laughs> my cat sent a message to my girlfriend. What do I do now? Your I know cardboard scissors you? and glue. Cut out cardboard pieces and glue them together. Cardboard scissors and glue? Assemble the piece. What? <laughs> Glue on a cardboard keyboard and write letters on the keys. What? Join all the pieces so it looks like a laptop. I love this song, by the way. It's like Patrick Star Bop. And a cat laptop is ready. Do you like it? No. It's a laptop and a claw scratcher at the same time. No cat would use that. It's a laptop and a claw scratcher at the same <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, this would take like a million years to make. Just I <laughs> Yeah, the cat's there for your attention. Your cat doesn't want to scratch its toes. Your cat wants your fucking attention. It's just gonna get right in front of you again. Oh file! You oh vile! Thank you so much for gifting three fucking months of sub to Brownie. Brownie, welcome back to the Kazoo Crew for three fucking months. I don't have a Kazoo for me to you, but I hope Chat does. I have this horrifying noise instead in lieu of good Kazoo. There's <laughs> something. There's fucking something. Uh, is there anything we can mark off? anything at all because honestly i have no worldly clue fake i was there one that's like wouldn't work i guess fake is as close as we can get to that hot glue oh my god you're right there was there was an abundance of hot glue oh i would mark looks bad but i don't think it's supposed to look good honestly i'm drinking i'm drinking we got a bingo i think whoever wrote these has never had a pet genuinely I, like you're probably right Ugh. Yeah, let's keep going. Same time. <sighs> Hurry up! Help! My what? baby needs a manicure. This dumbest Don't looking panic. dog I'm paw. It. It's hey, a fakest salon worst would be one. jealous of our treatment. Done. Wow. Ew. Wonderful. Again with the wow. This is for you. Bye. That was a hack. That was a genius hack for a smart pet owner. Go into the store and get your dog a manicure. How'd they get the ring? <laughs> ring it on a cat? I think it's just supposed to be a tiny dog. Oh, you're lurking. Falling asleep. Oh, enjoy your bedtime, Fabu. Thanks for hanging. I pay for service. Good hack. Yeah. I'm going to mark off. Uh, I'm fucking mad and too vague. It's just nothing. It's just nothing. Whoa, Hi, it's the skater guy. Hi, and he said, see you it? later, guy. See anything. He's got a snake he's under so his shirt. Slow. I've got He'll a snake in my pants. <laughs> oh, he's a turtle. He's on his way. Hmm. Whatever. Hmm? But my store hmm. closes at 7. He's finally here. I'll have turtle food, please. Here. Come again. Thanks. Your turtle is still here. He's always late. I can offer you a solution. Okay, here's the turtle a solution. Skateboard. Give your turtle a skateboard. Attach wheels to a plastic organizer. <laughs> Give your turtle a skateboard? Put in a felt mat. Uh-huh. That looks like paper. Attach a leash with a lobster clasp. Whoa! You saved me! You're gonna kill your turtle! Thanks! <laughs> that poor fucking turtle! I hate that! Is that illegal for animal abuse? Like, I... 
she do a kickflip? Dude, he's scooting. I, um, I... <laughs> Next video, 10 hacks for good turtle soup. <laughs> <laughs> Scrambled turtle hacks. Okay. Um, I, yeah, uh, dangerous or illegal. I don't know. I don't know. Flimsy, you're gonna break off. A you're gonna kill your turtle. Fuck it. Um, and, uh, I don't know. Just wasteful. You're wasting a turtle's life. <laughs> you can buy turtles to eat in the U.S. It's not illegal. It's dangerous for the turtle. We're gonna s s keep with that because it is dangerous or illegal. I feel like animal abuse is illegal in the United States. <laughs> and, like, killing a turtle humanely for food is different from buying a pet turtle and then shaking him until he dies. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a distinction. Um, destroys object. I don't know. The belt looks so bad. It does look. I can't imagine. Well, Mark looks bad. I can't imagine anyone skateboarding with a turtle. Okay, tiny dog time. Here we go. Newton, do you like this toy? Did you say mutant? Oh. Newton. 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 Newton the dog. Except she says Newton. Do you like this toy? Uh-huh. Fetch! Oh, Newton. What about this See, bone? I said Newton. It's gold! He'll Can like I help it. you? Maybe. Oh, bad editing for the dog paw manicure. Fuck, you're so right. Sorry, we're gonna go back. Oh, we, we'll hold off. We'll hold off for now. Here, watch! <laughs> I didn't realize how many bingos it was when I said that we'll do it. Hmm? Newton, fetch! Newton. Maybe it's Milton. And nothing! Milton! Uh, uh. I thought of something. <laughs> this dog's name is uh, uh. Here, try this stick. Oh, it looks cool looking work. Blew a cap in a plumbing pipe. Uh huh. If it's a PVC pipe, you can probably get something Drill and just holes. end it. Okay. Put dog food in it. Fill it with dog food and close with a cap. That seems mean. Huh? Hmm? Let's try it out. Wow, it worked! Thanks! What about money? That seems mean because the food's not gonna come out of the tube. Like, that's literally like weird dog torture. Choking hazard? Yeah, it works! Dude, he's biting it and he's mad at me. I think there's one thing you can't fuck around with with your pets, and it's food. It's the one thing. And this kind of breaks that rule. Kinda. Fetish? Ew. Food is gonna get hella soggy. Yeah, I guess. Maybe it'll just like drool on it. Chewing on PVC is not good. Oh, is it not? Oh, you sound different. I do. I have a shitty microphone. <laughs> I don't have a nice soundboard and a little microphone set up. I got an AT2020. Ick. Um, AT2020s are okay, but this one's USB, so it's ick. Um, or maybe it's the booze. Yeah, maybe I'm slurring a lot. Dogs and break his teeth. I feel like he'd win in a fight between that and uh, PVC pipe. I don't think there's anything to mark, though. I don't think there's anything to mark. Maybe gross. Pedestrian mic. I'm above this mic. I have a big, extra lot of nice mic at home. Gross. It's kind of gross. Think all the drool. They're gonna crumble that tube in two seconds. Maybe the dog is like crazy. Yeah, maybe he just tears into it. It's amazing that good quality gear can do for Tom's subpar noise. <laughs> it's true. Uh, destroys object. Eh, PVC pipe's pretty cheap. I wouldn't even say it's like destroying it. Destroys the trust of the dog. <laughs> That's a good fucking point. Eh. It's cheaper to buy? Yeah, no, uh, fuck, you're right. I think it's cheaper to buy a dog toy that your dog likes than assembling a PVC pipe assembly and then filling it with food every time you want him to fetch it. Just find a toy he likes, or if he doesn't like toys, you have a dog that doesn't like toys. That's it, you're done. Go to bed. <laughs> I'm marking cheaper to buy. I think it's cheaper to buy. Nah, it's a bingy. Oh yeah, we gotta mark off bad editing for the last one. Bad editing. Double trouble. Ooh. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Hi. 
Is that your pet snail? snail? That was three bingies. We There's an uppy downy and then a, another one. A nice bucket. Oh, so it's I just finished the thing. Fit for her. What about a, a plastic bucket? Hulk fan? Is she a comic fan? Hmm. No. What? A glass jar. No way. Where's huh? my snail? Ooh. She loves your lunchbox. I see. I just got an idea. What, sell her your lunchbox? Sew so garden fabric to a piece of foam rubber. Garden fabric? What the fuck is garden fabric? Trim it with decorative scissors. Oh, that'll really make the snail love it. Put it on the bottom of a box. Uh -huh. Make holes in the sides with a milling cutter. That did not make that Attach hole. Attach pictures of grass to the outside. Vital. You're going to need to do that. <laughs> she will love this house. Wow. Thanks. It's not... amazing. <sighs> I, guess, I don't know. I guess snails don't need to roam, but I don't know. Does anyone have a pet snail? I don't get this. Snail dead within an hour. Maybe the snail will go back into its shell and come out a beautiful butterfly. Here's a barren box. Buy a terrarium. Literally. Like, if you've got tiny pets like this, get a fucking terrarium. And if the snail's not enough, get other pets that fit in it that like snails. Like, maybe a lizard that doesn't eat snails. I don't know. I don't know. Good <laughs> You built in a coffin, Jesus. Rest in peace, little snail. Um, destroys your lunchbox. And it's kind of wasteful. Oh, that's a bingo. Fuck. Like, the reason I'm saying it destroys an object and it's wasteful is because it wouldn't solve your fucking problem. You still need to go buy a terrarium. <sighs> no, B Cup, you'll make it. You'll make it through. We're only at the six minute, we're at the seven minute mark. There's like two more minutes left. Cause I know it's a 10 minute video, but there's gonna be like one minute of closing crap. <laughs> okay, continuing along. Happy to help, I. I don't know how this is a poor teenager buying a pet shop. It really isn't anything. Calm down, buddy. Uh -oh. You're at a store. Cranky hey. dog hack. Oh snap, sorry. Was that a real dog that he threw on the ground? Buddy. Was that a real dog that this man just like dropped on the ground? Buddy, you are at a store. Behave. I'm gonna just uh head cat in that there's a pillow under them and they did it safely. Oh snap! Don't Sorry. drop your dog. Uh huh. What is happening? What is occurring? My dog has no clue how to behave in public. Okay, dog's I rowdy. Do something about it. He looks like he set it Here's down and sped up footage. I think you're right. <laughs> what? Weave stripes of colored fabric into a plastic mat. I don't know what the fuck this is. What is this plastic mat? Where do you buy this? Spray it with pet deterrent spray. What? I thought you were gonna hide dog food Seems in it. Looks like he loves it. Pet deterrent and he loves it? What do you f fucking talking about? Spray it with pet deterrent spray. Wouldn't that keep the dog away Seems from like it? He loves it. What do you f Actually, I'm here to get some food. Thanks. Learn <laughs> words, right? You're welcome. Phew. She said pet deterrent, right? This is the type of slow feeder most trainers don't suggest because it teaches dogs to associate fabric with food. That's fucking cool. I didn't know that. I've seen those before and I thought it was cool because I've seen those contraptions that are like, oh, you put food in it and your dog has to like search around and find it. Didn't know that it would be associating fabric with food. I guess then anytime you drop food on a carpet, your dog goes nuts. So cool shit. Didn't know about that. Pretty smart. Uh, you know, it's not smart though. He loves it. Spray it with pet deterrent spray. Seems like he loves it. I don't know what to mark. I want, I want to mark something because this... It's a, no, it's just a fucking big fat no. And we've already marked no. So I don't know what to do. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Suicide, we're out. Close it off. Good hack, great hack. 10 out of 10. Just ironically mark it. Uh, dog's got a fetish for pet deterrent spray. That's true. <laughs> no sane dog would like pet deterrent spray. Coca Pringles. Uh, if the other wasn't bad editing, this one is. Guaranteed. And we'll keep going. Actually, That's so I'm stupid. Well That's so nice stupid. Stuff. Okay, here we go. Hmm. What jacket this is that? Is and where nice can stuff. I buy one? And no that is insane. 
Is that what a burglar wears? I had a great nap. Who rubs what? a pet Such shop? A rude shoplifter. Watch out. What? Chicken attack. Huh? I need a dog collar. A collar and a leash are unavailable. But I know what to do. Make paracord? Two colors of close cords to a snap buckle. What was the burglar bit about? Weave a collar. Oh my god, shut up. Weave a. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you just other wait. To the fastener. Uh huh. Wow. Wonderful. Here's money. <laughs> Here's money. No. The thief will pay for it. Why did the thief rob a store with money in his pocket? <laughs> Holy shit, I have this exact same cat brush. Anyways, um... <laughs> oh, it doesn't even fit. It really doesn't. Aw, oh, this is a username dumb. <laughs> oh no, this is a username dumb, yeah. Thanks for following the channel. <laughs> Interesting username. I think... Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. This whole, I caught a burglar and I beat him up with a chicken. Some weird fetish stuff, okay? It has to be. Why else is it in the video? I think somebody just wanted to role play with a robber. Extorting the robber's kind of gross. That's true. Kind of a fetish. Plus, it's gross. <laughs> it's kind of gross. I don't know. Do we want to say gross or fetish? I'll do either. I'll do either, but I'm only going to do one. Who wants to be hit by a chicken? Maybe that's a weird thing. They did have him in cuffs, just saying. That's true. Do you think they were fuzzy and pink? <laughs> gross. Fetish. Fetish over gross. Bondage and gross. Fetish. Fetish. Gross. Do both. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm just going to do one. Fetish. Okay. We're doing fetish. I promise to only Watch do Watch out! I'm sure we'll find a gross one eventually. Or we won't, because this is like the last one, I think. We... It's the last hack. Thanks. We better hope for a gross. Or actually, any of them is a bingo. Except for Coker Pringles. Hi. We better Good not afternoon. see Coker Pringles right now. Oh, no. What's wrong with my dog? <laughs> Nothing. She's a little sick. Is Let's she? Let's take care of it. What? There's a huge splinter in her paw. I know a solution. That's a toothpick nub. Putting on mini paw covers. <laughs> and the dog is safe. There you oh. go. And I'll get the food. Mm -hmm. Come again. What? Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. That's a great Bye. idea. What's Many a great covers idea? covers made out of balloons. That's a choking hazard. Happy paws. That's a choking hazard. Mom, Dad. That's a fucking choking hazard. Your dog's gonna pull it off and then eat it and die. I hate that. That is gross. I'm fine with marking gross. Are we going to mark gross for that? That's fucking gross. It's just... Uh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Gross? Okay. We're going to... We're marking gross. Which is two bingos in one square. Cheers, everybody. It's gross morality. Yeah, fuck. Holy shit. Uh, anyways, let's see him with his parents. Dad, I made all this money at the pet Whoa. store. You're a hero. Did his parents Lose age? your eyes. Lose Surprise! your eyes? Oh, this yeah, puppy dog. is yours now. Just like you wanted. Thanks. You're the best <laughs> parents ever. <laughs> Happy ending. Anyways, here's gum and a Barbie getting squished up. My younger sister is missing good brother versus a bad brother. <laughs> he gets this awesome tattoo that says, my sister's missing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty epic. It's not the same dog. I Is it not? It looks like it was the same dog. That poor dog. Well, guys. I can only ever handle one Troom Troom video. So let's not watch those ever again. Um, if we look at our bingo card, let's, let's tally up how many bingos we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a diagonal for seven. 
Seven fucking bingos. Does anyone in chat have a seven? I see no one. Is there anyone that has a seven? Seven for the win. I never want to hear that fucking voice again. I'm so sorry. I This is why I did the poll. I was like, this is in your hands. I'm not going to deal with this madness. Oh, the six. I'm sorry. There was actually quite a few beans on seven, but only two people. Seven. Complete prediction. Boom. Oh, oh. <laughs> they have a seven. Oh, demon in the pocket. That's a big win for you. Check it out. Eh. There it is. Okay. Let's go back to it. We have... Five minute crafts, guy. Five, oh, the creme de la creme. Who do we want to watch? Because I, I kind of wanted to kick it off, excuse me, strong with seven hacks for parents' best DIYs and tips. Look at that. You give your kid a bottle of water, and she's like, I'd fucking rather die. I don't want water. I want to die today. But then you give her a bottle of water in the shape of a bear, and she's like, fuck yeah, dude, water bear. And I'm not even talking about tardigrades. Fill me up, mom! And then you can pour your water in your kid's mouth. That's kind of cool. No parenting, please. Do we want to know how to do... We don't want to do those? It's a honey jar. <laughs> it's just a fucking honey jar. Is Tom's voice a tiny bit earlier than the cam? Oh, can you clap? Oh, God, this is going to ruin the illusion. But here, I'll do it for you. That might have actually not come through the microphone. I have some pretty harsh filtering on. Um... Hmm... It did not. I had a feeling. Really shows the quality of the mic. I'm not even entirely sure. Um, I could scream, but that wouldn't work. So delayed, we didn't even hear it. Let me try again. No, it's it won't come through. I'm sorry. Um, I think we should do it. I think this will be interesting. I really do. Even though it's definitely gonna be like a bunch of old shit footage. Um, I'm gonna refresh our bingo card. And I'm going to start a new prediction and we can do a seven minute riddle prediction. I'm going to change. I'm going to change the amount of time we spend on this prediction to be two fucking minutes. Oh, wait, no, not two minutes. Fucking five minutes. I'm nutty. Okay. Five minute prediction. Prediction is live right now. If you have some beans and you're willing to vote, vote quickly. Vote right now because guess what? This is gonna be a weird one. It's a 16 minute video and it's called Summer Hacks for Parents, Best DIYs and Tips. Here's the bingo card that we're gonna be playing for it. If you, if you see some squares in some good spots, you want a metagame, you fucking can. You can. Uh, TwitchCon EU, when is TwitchCon EU? I, let me double check. I know what I'm leaving for it, but I can't remember when TwitchCon EU is. When is TwitchCon EU? Amsterdam, Amsterdam 2020. It's on the 16th. It's coming up very quick. Very fucking quick. Six days, less than a week. I hope to see some folks there. I know it's, you know, it's in the EU, so it's kind of a, a hard, hard to... Most people I know are in Canada or the States, but if you're in the EU and you're close to Amsterdam, maybe you can take the Eurostar or whatever. Come and visit. Come and say hi. It'll be fun. Or don't because you're afraid of COVID. That's fine too. I totally understand. I haven't seen Harley since the cooking stream. Did she survive? She's gone. Cooking stream dinner in. <laughs> now nah, she's sleeping right now, which is good. Uh, what are you handing out this year? Hopefully more candy. I don't I don't know. Um, side note, a may or may not have a signing booth there. I had one last year. Uh, and and I and I've been talking with staff about whether or not I'll be getting one this year. But like, it is TwitchCon EU. It's for European broadcasters. So I think I'm only going to get one if they're like, eh, nobody else is here. Do you want one? Like, it's not, I'm not going to be a priority. If, if it's North America, yes. If it's EU, no, it's for you. He's gone. She's out of the picture. Also, Nick, thank you for following the channel. Welcome. Um, while that goes on here, let's do, uh, let's do a little bit of a, let's do a seven minute riddle. Again, prediction is live. I'm going to, I'm going to double check the prediction right now real quick to see what's what. Nobody's voted for one or zero bingos. That's safe. That's fucking safe. But there are a lot of beans on the line. Like a lot. 12k on three, 16k on four, 21k on five, 35,000 beans on six, 57,000 beans on seven, 25,000 on eight, 13,000 on nine, and 2.2 thousand beans on ten. 
Throw in, throw in some beans if you're thinking about it. I highly recommend it. Beans have almost no other purpose than gambling. Seven minute. Oh, there's a bunch of workouts and shit. I don't care about that. Seven minute. Was it seven minute or was it seven seconds? Seven second. Oh, there it is. Second riddles. Boom. <gasps> Zach Fed, welcome. Oh, I got an eye infection. Oh, fuck. Those are the worst. I'm so sorry. Se uh, ten riddles that teens solve right away. Marry one or die. <laughs> What? Thank you, thank you so much. Nick! Nick, you just followed the channel too, Nick! Thank you so fucking much! That's wild! I hope, chat, please. If you got some kazoos, if you have the kazoo, please. Pop some in chat for Nick. I don't have a kazoo. I'm sorry, I have to make a do without a kazoo. Uh, in which case, I have this horrible noise. <gasps> Not quite a kazoo. I do wish I had one. Um, but thank you so fucking much. Genuinely, thank you so fucking much for supporting the channel. I, I hope you pop in the Discord, and I hope you get some some use out of my terrifying emotes. Thank you. Um, let's go see. What was that? Nothing. Just just a great noise that I can make. Um, we've got who's getting divorced? Who's the malarkey? Malarkey. <laughs> thank you for the seven months. Hmm, more mouth sounds coming your way. Thank you so much. I hope to see some kazoos in chat. And also, here's a big noise for me to you. <laughs> Didn't know I could make that one. Have a G Muff now. It's our one month anniversary. Happy fucking anniversary! Uh, okay. Did you do my noise? That was also a noise. I'm gonna do a different one. Lexi, thank you so much for the 23 months of support. I have a brand new custom noise from me to you, and it goes like this. <laughs> different, totally different noise. You guys are really making me work work on my noise game. Thank you so much. Thank you, genuinely though. Thank you for the fucking support. That is absurd. Twenty three fucking months. Fefix. Fefix, thank you so much for gifting us up the straight edge. Straight edge. Welcome to the Kazoo Crew. I hope you enjoy all my fucking horrible emotes. That's your first sub, too. Welcome. I have a terrible noise for me to you as well. Are you ready? I'm trying to think of how to do it. <laughs> that one was too gross. I, I, I might never do that one again. Sorry. That was an exclusive noise. Exclusive because I shouldn't do it again. <laughs> Sorry. I hope the best noises get compiled into a sort of alert. It... <laughs> Mating call. It had like a wet cough in it. It's like a llama with a smoker's cough. Someone hired Tom to do record Foley. I've been told many a time I gotta do voice acting. It'd be easy. It'd be easy, baby. I could do. I could do so many exertion noises. Who will not die? Riddles that boosted my brain. We're doing it. I want to find out who will not die. <gasps> Meyer. It's so fucking good to see you again, Meyer. Thank you for the 11 months. I got a noise from me to you, dude. Noises are surpassing kazoos. Are you ready? This one's totally different. I didn't like the thing I was doing in the back of the mouth. I moved to the front of the mouth and I just woohooed it. It was pretty good. I, I was proud of that one. I was proud of the latter half. I wasn't proud of the first half. That was a threat. Yeah, that's like if you see an animal in the woods and it's scared and he's like, don't get near me, I'll kill you. That's the noise he makes. Iconic. Thank you. <laughs> good job, Tom. Thank you so much. I had to bow, but I'm sitting. Uh, are you guys ready for riddles of boost in my brain? Because we've got how many more minutes on the uh, on the prediction? Let me see. Let me double check. Oh, it's closed. <gasps> should we even? I don't think we should even do the riddle. We had too much fun with resubs and noises. Fucking thank you. Fucking thank you, everybody that resubbed. Very kind of you. Fuck riddles. We're gonna come back to riddles later. Riddles later. Ironheart, thank you. I'm waiting till Tom makes a noise and accidentally summons Cthulhu. I'll be the last one to go crazy. That'd be good. The unsanest thing of all, summoning the sanity beast. Uh, here we go. Oh my god. Septum. Baby Faust has been really enjoying your streams lately. Oh, that's so sweet. I feel so bad about swearing now, but holy shit. Thank you so much for the 34 months, Septum. And the nice words. Um. I have a great noise for me to you. It might scare the baby. I'm sorry. In advance. Here we go. 
I don't know, that was like a baby with something in his throat. Dom swear more! No. It sounds mean. I feel like I'd be swearing at a baby now. That's just, I just, uh, monstrable. Monstrable? Not a word. But thank you. Fucking thank you so much. See, there's one swear. <laughs> you guys ready? Let's do summer hacks for parents. DIYs and tips. Are you making a water hole again? We've seen, we've seen this. We saw this last week where you pour a puddle for your baby. Oh, it looks yellow. How did you get unclean water? I bet, that, oh my God. She does not, well, maybe that'd be fun. That's about better sized, I guess. I don't know how I feel about baby puddle. Baby puddle seems kind of stupid. Toilet. Too old for that. She really is. Take a shit in it. I think it's kind of gross. I think it's kind of gross. You're just kind of throwing your kid in a stagnant puddle. I'm, I'm going... Oh, wait. No. Undo gross. It's reused. We saw this last week. It's a much better call. Thank you. Sorry. I literally said it at the beginning. Uh, gummy bears? You're melting them on the dash of a car. You... Why? Ew, ew. They're not lollipops. They're still gummies. Okay, fuck it. That's gross. <laughs> You're gonna get like dust and cat hair and a bunch of other whatever the shit you got in your car on it. That's nasty. Yeah, just eat the gummy bears. Gummy bears are fine. Uh. Hmm. I'm trying to go back to when I was a kid. Do you think you'd like this as a kid? A pillow blanket fort that's actually just a blanket chair hovel? Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Okay, we're done. Are we marking good hack? Are we marking good hack? I'll fucking mark good hack, okay? I- see, I was- I was lucky and I got to make couch cushion forts by taking apart my parents' couches. It needs more pillows. It really does, but honestly, as a bare bones, they could make it- they could make it better. Let's do it! I, I think that's a good hack. You know what? Screw it. Where's good hack? I think I'd be excited as a kid. Bad edit. One blanket into this. I think it's still one blanket. Oh, wait. It's a blanket with a towel on top, right? Blanket. Oh, you're right. They did hide it. They put a towel. They put a yellow towel on top of the blanket so the blanket doesn't come in. I'll...